Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, and Erlen's here today! Hey, hey Erlen! What He's up? got the beard and I don't, yeah. yeah. I shaved it off. If you didn't watch last episode, uh, it's we're looking just... sharp. As I said, we're seeing expressions from James that I haven't seen yeah, before. There's, there's, there's skin underneath there. <laughs> <laughs> it's for uh, the Halloween costume, uh, Baldur's Gate 3 characters. So. Yes, You know what, you gotta indeed. commit. Oh my god. Gotta commit to the character. Uh, today we're going to be playing uh, some of the ABBUC contest entries, Atari 8-bit games. Uh, Night Night, Time Wizard, Caverns of Eris, Der Schranker 3, and Retro Maze. Um, so lots of good games. I always look forward to the ABBUC contest. What even is this? I feel like I'm always <laughs> like out of it. I just show up. I don't it's, know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> what? Where am I? Oh, cats. Nice cats. Um, <laughs> I'm like, what console are we playing? I thought this was an Atari. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we will get into it. I'll give an explanation of what okay, it is. Cool, okay. um, after we thank the subscribers for supporting this show, we couldn't do it without you watching and cheering us on and enjoying the show. Uh, I'm amazed anybody watches. Yeah, uh, me too. I'm really, really happy. <laughs> <laughs> really happy people enjoy it. It's it's so nice. Yeah, uh, just to on, enjoy what we enjoy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And just on my days, I'm not shocked that like, <laughs> people are watching on the, it's like, the oh, Ireland 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 James here again. days with the Ireland days. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's lots of fun. I love the energy each person brings in a different perspective. That's it's so much fun. And I'm sure they do too. There are uh, quite some contests, probably too many to cover. There are. So yeah. I, I mean, I play all, every game pretty much that is released for all the consoles we play. And this is a pretty big contest. It's one of, the, if not the biggest Atari 8-bit contest throughout the year. Um, so I like covering it and kind of packaging it as a playthrough uh, dedicated just to these games. Yeah. Because they usually bring out the best in the programmers. Uh, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers. Uh, scrolling beside Erland, uh, Carbo Box, Alan the Fur, Andre Atari, Armscar, <laughs> Coder, Atari 800 XL Rules, Atari 1974, Atari Beef Supreme, Beer Poker, Buffalo, Pinball, Chest on Mount, Charles Will, and Chitlala, Colonel Am, Cubanismo, <laughs> Cubanismo, uh, Cyrano Reboot, DNO, Identity, Daryl 1970, Deals, Keyless, Dark Mook, Has, Gamma Dev, Glenn, Main, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Jedekai, Johnny, AWC, Carl G, Croc, 2600, Developer, Lambda Express, Lorne D, Zed, Lorne, Kraken, Mark, Yannis, Mark, Zay, Zing, Metal Atari, McMuse, Like Soul, Mike Latown, Miss Command, Mem K. Smith, Mr. Zarnold, Mr. Fix, Muddy Monster, Neo, Media, Net, Spe Net Spectre, that's a new one, Nostalgia, Coag, 2600, R70, Render, Ghost, Repentless, Video, Revan, Tooley, Ricardo, Pim, Rodcaster, Six Weeks, Smitty B, Spiceware, Spinley, S. Ramirez, Test and Rock, and D Train, Dicky Dan, K, T, Fos, Track, MD, Vexor X, Vintage Game Memories, VVD, Double Down, and X can X. And if you would like to support the show as well, you can subscribe. It's free with Amazon Prime, or uh, you have to pay if you don't have that. Um, what was I just gonna say? Uh, damn it. Oh well. Um, so the date for the sixth annual Atari Homebrew Awards has now been set. I haven't Ooh. announced it anywhere, but I've set it in my calendar. It's January, February, February, March, April, May. <laughs> what are those? It's within I that was, time frame. Yeah, do a shot safe. in the four months range. Yeah, he's playing it very safe. Which, which one do you say? February. No. February twenty fourth. Oh, Saturday, nice, February twenty nice. fourth. I want to avoid Valentine's Day. We've made that mistake in the past. That weekend, people are away. People are with loved ones. Uh, and people there's, are drinking alone, yeah, like whatever is you, you know, got going on. Don't worry of, about it. <laughs> that's right. I was drinking wanna, alone and watching Twitch, though. That actually that does might work. Line. Those that, might be our that guys. That might work. We, so grab that demographic. We dial of, in on the <laughs> lonely. <laughs> and also during February, there's a, a big sports thing. It's uh, the Super Bowl. So Super Bowl. Oh, we yeah. want to avoid that as well because that has you know conflicted in the past as well. Yeah, so I'm so now not, I'm aware of both of those. I'm things. so not on the NFL train i know no. i know so little about it yeah in the u.s football is everything oh, it's, it's hot, up here it's hockey so yeah. you want to stay away from those if you're planning events that people will be distracted by so yeah yeah um it makes sense it's sort of around sort of award seasons of it oscars is. but it wraps also wraps up the year right but it's i like, haven't i haven't really been dialed into oscars for the last few years i think sort of during pandemic mode, it, I kind of I kind of fell off the train. I should see if there's yeah. any good ones. It's like yeah, I'll have to check it out. Um, have they announced the nominees I no yet? Idea. I don't think so. I would have heard. Yeah, because yeah. they make a big deal. It's on everywhere. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, and I've also reached out. So the preparations have started to begin 
for the awards. Mm, I have to start happens. them up about four months ahead. Um, but I, I keep records of all the games that come out for all the platforms we do awards. So that's not a problem. I keep at least once, like every two days at least, I, I update the lists. I go through all my sources and update those. So those are not a problem. And this year I've even started making sure I collect all the physical release photos of things. So I don't have to do that in a mass panic at the end either. So that'll make my job a lot easier. Um, and I've also reached out to the nomination committee members. Um, I just posted that in the private club. So if you were on the team, the nomination committee last year, make sure you check that or get in touch with me. Uh, we had tons of volunteers, which is so amazing. I didn't have to beg, borrow, and steal volunteers to help whittle down the hundreds of games to a top six for the public to vote on. So hopefully people will step up again this year. I think they will. Uh, the method of voting we did last year was very, very good in the nomination committee because we changed it because there were so many ties. So we had to do a ranked uh, voting uh, last year with another kind of calculation that narrowed it down so there was no ties. It was awesome. And a big thank you to, you to um, Thomas. I think he had played a part in kind of refining that it's so God, it works yeah. really well now do you have thomas on your team oh that's a good that's a good thing mr spreadsheet <laughs> he's uh mr calculation he's who he, you want on your team oh 100 he can... so he helps out a lot with that kind of stuff um uh, onto the news uh we've got some release information from Atari Age. The first one is Defender of the Crown. They did have it in their store before, but now uh, they're doing a reprint of it. So if you like that game, it's kind of a light RPG-ish, um, kind of map-based, and you fight, and you do little mini quests. Um, but that's available now. Uh, now available in the Atari Age store. Uh, boxed copies of it. You don't have to wait. This is not part of the fall release. It's just ready right there. And also, but this one is part of the fall release. It's Rocket Ranger. Uh, I love the art always on these boxes. Oh, like so like good. the sort of art of the last one, the art of this one. It's yep. really, really cool. They're, they're both from um, Cinemaware, yeah. which they had a philosophy of making games more like movies. So they had lots of uh, interstitial, in little movie parts that you that would play in between um the game like you'd accomplish something it would play a little movie for you um but for me they sometimes put too much into that side and not enough into the gameplay the gameplay was very pared down but still absolutely gorgeous graphics like i played these on not rocket ranger but i played um um defender of the crown on my c64 and that is it was just at its tail end of of having releases and it looked absolutely stunning yeah um and well, the music so good the animation so good. remind me of the sort of retro kind of sci-fi um yes. concept art but also even sort of heavy metal magazine era uh -huh. kind of like especially the last one the like so you know there's something about like oh, old yeah. school fantasy slash sci-fi art that i just love like it's one of my instagram kind of like my feed is like one uh -huh. of the main sides of it i follow all those like old 80s concept art so like sci-fi retro stuff i just love this art i don't know what it is about it it's so cool to just look at oh it's it's absolutely beautiful um so for the defender of the crown the is now available we sold out of the initial release and after many requests to make more copies available we printed up another batch of boxes that implies that it is limited edition number of them um so I, if you want to get it i would probably get it sooner than later um and if you like enjoy Defender of the Crown with a mouse, we have two different Jaguar mouse adapters in the store as well. And I picked this up at Portland Retro Gaming Expo Ooh. just for that occasion. This is an Atari ST mouse, um, but you get an adapter for it, which is what is Al's talking about. And you can use this on the Jaguar with certain games, Defender of the That's Crown. Perfect. So I remember when this, this style of just even oh, mouse. trackball. Yeah. yeah. Darcy to this day uses a trackball. Really? Instead of a mouse. Oh, that's, yeah. that's some... He that's, swears by it. Oh, that's some... Because you don't need to move your hand around. You're just like, boom, boom, boom. And he's really 
accurate with it obviously oh, of course using like, it for like 20 years that's the thing that's his tool of choice yeah you know? yeah he's an expert at it you know i get on that i'm like i'm okay i remember but... when i first got like a trackpad for like a laptop i was like this is impossible oh. and now i'm like you know, <laughs> a wizard at it yeah it's just yeah, natural was... right you're you're and, yeah it was totally like touch screens now before at first it was like oh oh of course they were terrible when they first came out it was uh, resistance so it was like you, it was a big grid of things that it would like what wire are you touching that way and what oh, wire are you yeah. touching that way uh they were very very bad uh but they're much better now now people will like open a map and they'll just like try to do oh, this yeah. on the map they'll be like spin, what is it zoom, not? Spin, you know, zoom. Like, oh shit <laughs> yeah they're experts at it now <laughs> i saw someone do that in, in public and i was like this is great <laughs> makes so oh, much like sense a paper map yeah because the impulse is you look at the map and they realize immediately as they did it they're like oh this is yeah I've but it's means but memes about kids trying to do that on like books I'm like oh i can zoom into that picture and they're like they they're just trained so inherently to do yeah that and like things. the person i saw do it they were kind of and then they laugh because they realized they immediately <laughs> but it's just of course because you were so often interacting with maps in google so maps funny. not in a physical form that is so funny like, why can't i oh, why can't i do that um uh for people live watching live and twitch i've added a new thing to twitch Ooh. called help help which is uh, only one point it's only one point it does have a cool off so you can't constantly do it help help help, help. uh it is for when you guys out there in live land uh, can see there's a problem with the stream. I've oh. been wanting to add this for a long time because people before have been like, oh, we're typing. You're not looking at the chat. It'll audio do an audio cue for us. To let us know. To let us know. So if somebody wants to do that right now. This could be a Pandora's box. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. Yeah, don't abuse it. Uh, it's it does be... have a cool off and I might it's... have to increase that cool off. But somebody I... can test it out right now. But I love me a little, uh, a little tease <laughs> a little as well. Trolling. If you're gonna throw a little, but you troll do have it. to say <laughs> why you did it. Otherwise, it'd be like I don't know. Because I felt is. like it. Yeah. <laughs> could be the reason. Because <laughs> you wanted me to test it. Because uh, I wanted you to pay attention to me. <laughs> yeah. So if I don't have like um, even the right artwork up or the audio's off, like it's muted or something didn't play correctly. Or you can't see the game. That happens a bit. Audio is pretty common. Audio is huge. Pretty, pretty common. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, of course, the side effect would be I might not be able to hear Oh, yeah, because we don't know. We're yeah. talking. And um, we so, that... there you go. That's uh, a new option. And uh, I have some ideas for other options to add in for alerts. So, we'll just keep adding them. Um, so, on to the ABBUC uh, contest, Software Competition 2023. So, they have this every year. Okay. It is for the Atari 8-bit computer, line of computers. And it is part of the AB, ABBUC um, thing? Forums, I guess. It what started does from stand forums. stand for? I mean, I'm That's sorry. a great question. This is German. So oh, then good I, luck, dude. I'm sure, it's, no... I'm sure it's in German. Uh, I do have it somewhere, but Don't oh, there it is! Atari Bit Biter User Club. Oh, it's ah, in English. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's see. So uh, every year they have a software competition. They are a subscription-based service. So p they put out magazines of things that are happening in the eight, uh, Atari Eight Bit world. Uh, for the computer, Atari 8-bit computer. And they also have this software competition where there are actual cash prizes um, for every entry. Like, even if you're last, you get cash prize, uh, which is great. So uh, are, are we going to play this? So this is, we got, a, there's a ranking. Yes. We're not going to do it in order. Okay. Because sometimes the order doesn't work well when you stream. And, like, some games need more time. That makes sense. Et cetera, et cetera. So I did... We will play all of them. Not today. I split up into two days because I cool. want to dedicate more than yeah, five makes, minutes each. Makes sense, yeah. Because uh, there was 14 entries. Not all of these are games. So we're only going to be playing the games. Like Wasmon, Draw Vector, and U-File are utilities. Uh, we don't... We're not playing utilities. We play games on the show. Uh, but I'm a big we're... fan of playing <laughs> utilities. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I do, I do highlight utilities. It's a big deal. But usually when it's related to games, like a new... Um, a graphics big, drawing program or a music tracking program. A big fan of just disc utility, just hanging oh, out and look at look at how it's saved. Just just it's so good. Just check it out. Like watch this rename uh, function. Like look at look at the <laughs> format of my hard drives. Oh, it's great. The organization, the 
folder structure. Fat 32. Damn. It's just all oh, some <laughs> thick fat 32. Let's look at yeah. it. <laughs> I mean, it's, it can be very interesting, but usually I don't do that. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. I'm excited for Time Wizard. You just had me at Wizard. Wizard? Anything with cats and or was wizards? Yeah. Der, Time Wizard? Was it Der Schranker? Der Schranker? Der Schranker 3. The thing is, is it wasn't until the third one they really figured it out. They really honed One and it in. two, they were sort of like... <laughs> They're testing the waters. Yeah, but it's the... I, so I'm personally <laughs> delighted for three, because I am yeah. a big fan of one and two. Well, I've been waiting for three, the sequel, <laughs> We've been, to wrap up the storyline. The whole week I've been sort of just waiting for three to come out. So. That's right. Here's, it, the, <laughs> here's the official result. There have been 79 valid voting from members. So you do have to be a paid okay. member to vote on the games but also gives you access to the games oh. and these aren't uh, available to the contest is over um, so that's why we're playing them now because now they're publicly available hey Rodcast Rodcast alright can I become a valid voting member how would I you would what would be the you would pay okay. it's it's a, a yearly fee but you get early access to things this... you get access to their forum as well um, you get access to the voting and the games early um, so there you go. And uh, I'm sure there's tens of other, oh, you get the magazine, physical magazine. Oh, see, that's not, you, you're yeah. sweetening the pie, yep. ABBC. And, and I can't remember how much it is, 30 euros around that. That's not bad not to bad. get, to get yeah. to vote and yeah. to like get your, yes. So a total of 6,463 points were distributed amongst the 14 programs submitted. Here are the official results. There have been, yeah, same thing in English because yeah. I've translated it. Um... So, first place, Time Wizard, nice. Night Night, Zilber Ball 23, Double. What's with the beard? Bring it back. It's coming back. It's This is the thing. Is that stubble the right bad now. news, Rod, is that hair never grows, so it's going to be static. It's going to be <laughs> this right. forever. There's Locked no... in time. I'm the Time Wizard. I've stopped hair <laughs> he's, growth. He's done to the powers. <laughs> uh, Devil, Der Schranker 3, Caverns Virus, Ink Spell, Retro Maze, Rotor, Dota, uh, Numeru. Not the Dota you think of. Uh, so, uh, very close for the top uh, score, actually. Yeah, six, really close stuff. Six, so those are both going to be really good. I'm excited for Night Night as well. And oh, I, what good. I love about Night Night is that like <laughs> you have to read it to understand yeah. the, the say, differences. And even that, that's part of it. When you say Night Night, it's night going, night. going to bed. But then when you read it, it's like, oh, there's a knight involved in this. I'm Anything got some gothic stuff, I'm in. Oh, yeah. If it's got a rogue, a wizard, and a warrior, I'm definitely. <laughs> You're in. We got a skill tree. Oh. Oh, building that oh, better weapons. This be yeah. better. Um, so we're gonna be reading summaries from this page. Vitno dot uh, dot org. Vintage is the new. That's old. a great logo, dude. That's a cool. It's very nice. It's like uh, the. It all fits together. It's all mazy. That's great. Wonder why you only lose hair but never beard. Oh, Thrust, yeah. this is the basis of my entire life. Yeah, you point, get man. you get hair in pl some places and you lose it in others. It's completely reversed. This yeah. is what happens. Like this is the, what all, the world's become for me. All the things that weren't hairy now are. And that yeah, were like, and aren't. It's. Amazing. I wonder that too sometimes because I can like I'm losing it on the top for sure. Mm. And then you look and you go, how come? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, we got to grow it out here as we lose it other places. Yeah, yeah. gravity. I, I, that makes sense. Is at the top, it's all going down, 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 and then we just end up with big fluffy feet. I guess yeah, at the right. end. Um, so I'm going to be reading the uh, summaries from this page. Vintage is the new old because they did great, very succinct summaries. Vintage is the new game. old. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Because um, so, isn't vintage already old? Yes, I guess it's. But it's new. A and clever, alive. clever, cool play on word. Nice. I don't know. Yep. Um, so we're just gonna jump right into it, and we're gonna start off with Night Night, as by Lars Langus, uh, Lars I'm Net, and uh, Tix did the did some of the graphics. So let's get that going. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And we have had this game on the show before because it... Oh, I would press left and then the button. Hold left and then press the button. Okay. Let me get this up on the screen for everyone. Oh, I can't wait. There we go. Yeah. Der Schranker 3. Oh, my God. The wait is over. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, load up. Night Night, not the TIX one. We'll just preview that one after. Cool. 
And press go. Ooh, 2023. These are all hot off the press. Brand dude. new within a couple days. This one is October 30th, so three oh, days ago. Oh, shit. Um, first posted about on November 16th, 2022. And... With the kind of permission, approval of Juan J. Martinez. This is a port of an MSX game, I believe. Um, let's see, Night Night MSX game. Um, and I we did play the a 7800 version of this game cool. by Matt Smith when it premiered on ZPH on December 3rd, 2021. And it is a fun game. Here's the summary. Uh, race against the clock in Night Night, a high-energy, single-screen platformer. Players must swiftly navigate a various platforms, retrieve keys, and pass through open doors to advance to the next level. With an impressive 80 levels, the challenge is endless. Oh. Well, the challenge is 80 levels. I, I was just going to say, I don't know <laughs> if it's truly endless. <laughs> I guess but... you could just keep playing it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, technically one level is endless. <laughs> true, you could just keep playing the one level. So we have 50% uh, music, 75% intro. We don't have a password. Atari code, graphics and sound, Lars Langus, original MSX version by legendary Juan J. Martinez. So this came in a second place. So go for it. Press the button. Are you ready? Ooh, I already like the look of this style. Very cool. Okay, so I gotta collect some keys. So the 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 goal is to turn everything the yellow color, all the platforms. So you gotta watch out for those dudes. Don't touch the dudes and go on all the platforms and change them all to the yellows. Yep. And then after you've changed them all to yellow, it'll drop a key somewhere in the maze okay, or in cool. the platforms. And then you retrieve the key and you go through the door. And as you're playing, there will be um, Power up drops. Now you can jump up straight up through through levels. Oh, I can jump through these. Yeah. Okay, this you is can't a go lot down, easier. You can't go down, but you can then. jump up. Yeah, there you go. Okay, okay, this is gonna be like. So there's a drop over there. Ooh, I don't know what happened, but I think uh, it was good. I can't. I more. It was not time because you, there's one. Ah! Oh, I jumped right into him. I was you got eight to... seven, seconds, seven, six. Oh, I, I'm timed as yeah. well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Not just, uh, you run out of time. Okay, okay, now that I understand the concept. Now your time's all back, so there you go. Oh yeah, I can just do this. Okay, okay, conceptually, I'm, I'm wrapping you're getting, right you're getting it. Uh, so he posted November 16th, 2022. Uh, oh, the developer said, Hi, I've started to create a conversion of Night Night from one uh, Jay Martinez for our 8-bit computer. Night Night Stage 1 without nice. audio. Sorry, it doesn't exist at the moment. Juan asked me to be as close as possible to the original MSX game. I think it will be. Due to some hardware restrictions, it'll be a little bit wider. There exists 80 levels. All the monsters are there. The game should run on every Atari 8-bit uh, with at least 64K. Uh, the more than four sprites feature of the Atari has been worked around with some uh, really nice code from Shanty77 TEBE. Big thanks for that piece of code. Um, Lars. And then when he posted it, uh, he said, uh, here comes the release. Uh, when he posted on Monday this week, night night for the Atari 8-bit. I'm very pleased to attach a floppy disk image that contains a self-starting game. Self-starting has been done with UDOS from Dietrich. Night night needs an Atari XLXE with at least 64K RAM, PAL, or NTSC. Stereo Pokey is also supported and recommended. The music sounds better. Nevertheless, also mono is okay. Hope you enjoy my port on the Atari 8-bit. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me. Um, so Ooh. I am working on getting the stereo working because I have the sub sub uh, AVG card. Wait, wait, what am I supposed to do? Well, you must be missing one somewhere. Wait, wait, wait where is where am I missing? Oh, what? It's okay. What? I think there was a, something I needed to collect because I, I no. Be, what? There, there was a thing that appeared Bug. and then disappeared. That's okay. That's okay. The, was it the key? The key shouldn't have disappeared. The key, key didn't disappear, but you should was... have gotten the key there. Am I? Was I missing something? Left middle. Oh, RC70 saw it. Oh, there was something. I didn't even it. see it. We both couldn't see it. Weird. So I think I've fixed the color issue that I was having with my Atari 8-bit. I, I was thinking for the longest time it was the power because it was like, oh, I have a lot of things plugged in and there's a lot of add-ons inside the, the computer, but it's not the power. It's actually the video cable, which I, you would have think that I've been able to solve that instantly, but it didn't manifest itself when I was playing around with the power, uh, with the video cable before. Um, but this time when I was trying to 
I was trying to play around with it again. Um, I was able to. Oh no! You no, still got time. No, Not much, but you gotta no, love it. No, no, no. There you go. Five, four. Get to that door. Fall. Three, two. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Next time. It's creating some stakes for the. It was over a pillar at the edge. It looked wrong, but the other side was yellow. Oh no no no! Do not scratch, scratch the couch. No. Just my mistake. Um. So I have another video cable on order. Right now it's fine because I've positioned it, so it's okay. Um, I also have something that I'm going to be able to manipulate. It's a audio combiner for uh, SCART. So it has a SCART in and a SCART out, and it has audio in that combines it with the SCART out. So what I'm gonna have to do is destroy the pin ins. There, it's on the left, he did it again. <laughs> Makes sense, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That. There you go. Eight seconds. Oh, okay. Thank you, RC70. Yeah, this is a great looking game. That, I love the, it's got a great like feel to it as well. And oh, there's something yeah. there's also something satisfying about its simplicity. Once again, it always blows me away with these games. It's just the beauty of what you can oh. do with just a simple concept. It's all about the concept and how well it plays. That guy shoots, so get out of the way. Ah, no, no. And you can't jump up on solid. You can't you'll hit your head. Oh, I should have done it. I should have gone for it. You got some time. You only have one left to get. So as they introduce new characters, whoa, whoa, playing it fast and loose. Whoa, it's the only. Cocky. It's the only way, man. You gotta. Oh, extra time. Gotta nice. Raise the time. I th we theorized last time because if you wait long enough, sometimes there will be a time thing. And you get bonus for extra time, but is it worth... Oh no, it is worth it. Some... It depends how fast you can initially solve it. And in some levels it doesn't give you a timer as a bonus. Catland. So you'd really have to map it out. Catland? What's going on in Cat World? There's something... Yeah, he was uh, thinking he's seen some, some bugs or some... a shadow. See the ghost. Yep. Oh, oh no. almost. That was that was a good one. I was sometimes. Shield. Sometimes you need evasive maneuvers. Yep. So you're able to be hit once now. Okay. Shield. Okay, that's great news. I don't know if I should exploit that though. I don't think it benefits you. Oh, I see. Exploit it. Like jump through a guy just to finish off a part. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, but it, yeah, you don't carry it over, so you could do that. But you, with these, right, like, you got to actually start taking some risks at a certain point. Yep. Or you else. You do, or else you're just going to run out of time. Like. Okay, I can kind of breathe in this middle one. You can. There you go. Whoa! <laughs> this is the only way. Indiana Jonesing it out of there. <laughs> Roll uh, under the closing right. door. Dodging. Nice, okay. Okay, there's some some different. Oh, there's two shooting guys now. So right? like, I think I they think only that, shoot when they see you. So you have to plan for your escape. Yeah, they gotta. And now with this guy, like, I don't. Him. I actually don't know if I can. Okay, I can. Yeah. Good. Oh well, that guy you can. The other ones you put but you like, up a level. But like, see here, right? like this is perfect, and he's gonna shoot. Perfect. Follow this guy. Careful, he's gonna shoot. There you go. It's the only. Yeah. So I have to. This one's tricky because I have to like basically kind of map out that middle. That middle section's gonna be. Yeah, I find my strategy is kind of do left, right, middle on t three different passes, if you can. That's like the most efficient. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, Shit. Uh, oh yeah, there you go. Where's our key though? Okay, I gotta oh, get it we're here. Missing one. There you go. Oh good, it's handy. Oh, okay. Five seconds this is left. Tight. Very oh, nice. night, night. Are you ready? Oh, I was born ready. Oh, they're jumping? No, I'm not yeah, ready. No. <laughs> I'm not ready. No, it gets Oh, I'm not ready. <laughs> oh, actually, in some ways, though, they can kind of like as long as move you keep them out one of away. their stuff. Yeah. 
As long as you keep them one away from you, you're no, pretty safe. No. They can go anywhere though, so. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm so they don't scared. go after I'm you. I'm so scared. Okay, oh. yeah, yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Yet I was powerless to stop it. <laughs> Wait, where is my stuff? Where is it? Do you see it? Uh, it's gotta be somewhere. Oh, it's Maybe the top, top by the door. Top top? Okay. The door. Yeah, that makes sense. Ooh, that would have been I nice. still don't know what that is. Is it just bonus? Nice. Okay, where is it? Right there. Okay, the... But I believe those guys stay on your level. Like, if you're at the top, they'll stay up at the top, kind of hounding you. Nine seconds left. <laughs> Okay. Gonna go for those bonus points that hold two bonus points. <laughs> Sorry. Nice. Doot, doot. Two. So I'll, I'll take some bonus points if I Did you do anything for Halloween? Oh, I watched The Exorcist. Oh, nice. I'm sure you've seen it before. Yeah, I've seen it before, but it has been years. It's, years, years, it's years, years. Still years. great. The atmosphere, oh, the God. tension. Well, you know what really stood out to me is it's not like Oh, oh. see no. Okay, I'll pass over. Um the thing that blew me away about it is, like, it's about an hour before, like, exorcism stuff starts. Yes. It's like an hour of sort of, like, getting to know these characters and, like, that's kind of what you need, right? He's kind of wander around with this priest who's, like, boxing and, like, having this thing with his mom. <laughs> like, it's really cool because he's kind of, like, you don't see it being that... You actually care for the character at the end when he... Something happens. Yeah. <laughs> Spoilers, you know. Spoilers. Uh, Just so you know. When he dies. So... Um, yeah, it's, it's so, so good. And like, um, and it was also like uh, uh, quite edgy for like oh my God. even today's standards, oh, man. I was like, it's like whoa, what did what this little girl is saying? What you, and doing what? If you saw this in 1973, like you'd be my like, oh my God. God, sacrilegious. I can see why in the UK, I believe it was banned actually for a number of years. Oh, really? I think it was one of the. It was considered like it's the religious overtones. Probably. Yeah, and also just the sexual oh, yeah. sort of stuff going on with a yeah. kid too. Like this, although it's like not actually like, no. but it is that thing where you're just like it's. it's Slide. There's well, there's one scene in particular I think that sort of like got that movie cement it. You know, oh, I pressed it. Um, but what's amazing as sort of watching it, I was like, oh my god, I'm not watching. Yeah, then like if this were made in like certain this, eras, this, this you know like this contemporary film, it would be I like think it would be, would be still very shocked. It would, but what I was gonna say is like Even scene pro one would just be like them going to the priest being like, there's this wealthy woman. <laughs> And then scene two would be like going in and it's like, like oh yeah right you know, away it would be immediately and then it would be this non-stop 90 minutes of just oh, like yeah. onslaught and you realize with like some of those like older horror films one of the genius things is they pace them so much better because you get to know these characters you get slowly teased you know like yep. I feel like in a way like there a lot of contemporary horror movies are so excited to get to the horror bit that sometimes oh, you forget done. that like the build up is what makes it horrifying yep. um, but it's a hard balance because there even was like we're like you know 40 minutes in kind of looking at each other being like <laughs> we get some exorcism <laughs> yeah what's that what's, so what's the a, name of this film it's again? a fine line but I um, I liked that the movie was like almost a different genre before it turned into an exorcist thing and yeah and, uh, and like uh, and then also just like this like 10 minutes of that movie there's just Max von Sydow just walking in like Iraq oh. <laughs> you know what I mean yeah. like, it's like what you're like yeah. what is he doing and he's like at a burial site and he's looking at like an idol and it sort of is it sort of sets oh, his character up but it kind of doesn't he's just kind of but it, but I thought it was beautiful that the movie just was like took its time you know yep. it, it, it needed to it needed that build up of all the characters and I think it really benefited from the mother trying all the scientific possibilities yeah. out first it's like she has to rule this out and she's a big skeptic and 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 you go into the movie like oh yeah it, it, she's there's just something weird they, going on with her she's got they, they did jump pretty quickly to brain surgery though that was the only thing <laughs> <laughs> they really really, really should have oh we gotta cut her they're like open. well we'll just go in and start cutting parts of her brain out and you're like wait you, this is the second <laughs> visit to the doctor <laughs> yeah it's a little premature for that part Possibly. And especially when you see those archaic kind of like meta, they have like a machine that's like, <laughs> God. And like I got a needle piercing into, like I almost found all that medical stuff almost more horrific in a way <laughs> than, um, I, actually probably not. I mean, like, hey, Thomas, the, yes, the music is really good. It has a great loop. You don't get tired of it. It's up and quirky. 
And especially that part, yeah. so good. Um, so, yeah. and, and of course, the music in uh, Exorcist is classic. But what's weird is there's it's tagged like twice in the movie. Oh, God. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's the interesting part is that this is like a couple, it's only a couple moments. Most of the movie doesn't have that theme. So, uh, you know, the theme kind of comes in, I think it was only two or three times. Like, it's maybe three minutes of that movie has that theme. Because you would think that that theme would just be wall to wall, like. Possibly it was like after the fact they realized, oh, this is a banger. This yeah. is really good, right? And I bet you it was like done in more like trailers and things, but also the, th uh, the the thing that I really realized too is like we went on a Netflix to look at it, and you're like, there's like the Pope's Exorcist, the Exorcism <laughs> of Emily Rose, the oh, Exorcist, yeah. and you realize you're like, there's an entire genre that is this movie. Like oh. this movie created a genre that's the Exorcism. It just did so well that everybody's like, yeah, we got to cash in on this. And like Russell Crowe is like exercising the Pope, you know, like that's. <laughs> That's where we are now. Yeah, you got to raise the stakes to the maximum level. Like, the Pope is under attack. Like, who, who higher? Pope in space, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. That's his high. Yeah, Crazy Gamadev said, which is so true, in the book they spend much more time exhausting everything. It makes more sense oh. to go to the medical treatments than we can just skip straight to demons. So true. Like, mm. that's the problem is, like, when people go immediately, we're going to call the Warrens. You're like, this. <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> yeah. It's like we can't. That's that's way too quick, guys. Yeah, jumped way too quick. Oh no, it was on no. that level. Oh, yeah. There's a bit of a an issue in this game, not a big one, that you can land in between a level. You saw it there for a yeah. second. It doesn't affect the game because you you're kind of still on that level and you can just jump out of it. Um, I don't know if it affects you walking over the tiles. He's the jumpy guys. No, uh, no, no, not this yet, is not yet. still yeah. the arrow guys, I think. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, very cool to revisit. Um, really holds up. What a what a tremendous film. Oh. In the Mount Rushmore of horror movies, and really transcends the genre. Like it just it is. Does. It's because a lot of horror movies kind of don't actually transcend the genre. They're great horror movies, no. but they're just kind of horror. You yeah. Know? And I, I like horror, but it is kind of like it's a certain thing. And I think what makes a horror movie like is it's kind of sometimes the relentless sort of tone of just like oh yes which is fun uh, for once or twice a year but <laughs> yeah and i mean um i'm not a huge fan of slasher films like just blood for blood sake or how is this guy gonna be killed that's that's the whole premise of the movie yeah. is cool kills like meh. uh that's that's not the films for me the ones like psychological thrillers yeah. which which um exorcist kind of falls in where it's like, oh my God, dude, but what's happening with this kid? And the mother is trying to help the kid and, and it's not working. It's it's still on the horror level because it's crazy. And also tapping into some very primal stuff of just like, you love your kid and you want them to be yes. okay. And like, what is like, it actually is a nightmare. Oh yeah. Oh, well, so Gamma Dev's got some more. As much as I love the first two Conjuring movies, they do the disservice of rewriting the history of the Warrens, who are at best scammers. For instance, <laughs> the real family portrayed in the Conjuring sued the Warrens. Yeah, I've heard this. I, I heard right. a couple breakdowns about them that they are probably way more charlatans than, you know, it's. And that's also kind of the sort of tough thing about fringe things. And the real right. argument that I do understand is sometimes like it can take away from like going and, and doing proper like procedures, right? Um, where like if yeah. you are aiming oh. for kind of like you know you're like oh this is a demon when in fact it might just actually be like a series of seizures that are happening that that's need right. medical <laughs> like not that that's what it is but you know they're you need some help yeah not so just somebody waving chickens over you yeah and that's where like something like the Warrens but that's the there is something so cool about that movie the moment where they're just like we've exhausted all options <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> yes it's like, like oh time to call a priest and Max Moncito when he shows up is so funny he shows up and he's just like and the and the younger Damien like the younger like uh, yeah. exorcist kind of like priest is just like he's like what do you want me to tell you about like them and the kind of things that I've seen he's like no <laughs> and he's like well I've exhibited I've seen I've seen three different personalities and he's like no <laughs> no. There's only one. <laughs> he it's just doesn't, he doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't want to know like, anything about nope. this. He just shows up with his with his like, like Bible the, and he's yep. like This is very simple. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
and he just lists off a bunch of things they need and he's like do you want to know anything he's like no I was, I was like, this it's like is... badass right he's the it's badass like... priest but the but there's this shot of like when the, when Max Monsito shows up it's the famous one of like the foggy oh, kind of so thing he's standing in the shafts of light and you've just sat through like an hour and 20 minutes it's, to it's get here the classic the expert is here oh it's so and you and you're like you forgot that you saw him in Iraq like <laughs> that's right <laughs> oh it's that guy like, right but Max and he's there and, and and yeah and it's also I think the movie does a tremendous job of like having things happen off screen that you are forced to like imagine like there's like a whole murder that happens off screen oh, and it's told yeah. to you and you're like and then you sort of see the remnants of it and it's like and you have characters leave the room and come back and things have happened like there's it's it's yeah it's some good stuff oh damn it Oh, Body Snatchers is a good one from that period too. Have you seen Body Snatchers? I haven't. Oh, seen, I, I I feel Tanya. bad for not seeing it because it's a classic. I yeah, I, Tanya and I were trying to watch a different movie from each um, decade. Damn it! But it kind of fell to the wayside as we got busy. Oh, Come on, yeah. what's going on? Well, there's, so, uh, there's so many projects, oh, right? right? Yeah, there is. But so we gotta add Body Snatchers to the damn. list and and one other one. Yes, I did want to see that. I think yeah. Um, uh, plus, many kids have been uh, legit killed by exorcism. Oh, and most times the parents, less church folks, get away with it because yeah. uh, sincerely held beliefs. There's a lot of stuff the church gets away with. So yeah, I, I mean, people oh. hide, people hold them in such high authority, infallible, so they just let There's them run. There's a mysticism to it all too. And and any any um, kind of position of authority attracts certain types of people that they know they can get away with things yeah um because not, they're in trust they're in a, a trusted position not that it's always this way no but uh, the, there's a sort of cliche that like the bully from school becomes a cop yes. you know you're like ah oh, shit <laughs> that makes sense and there's cliches for reasons because you know <laughs> it not, happens not all people are that way but it is like well yeah if you want to be the guy who dominates people physically all day there is a personality that is attractive well here's to the job that allows you to do that that kind and of a thing. license to ah. you know no but it's not to suggest that it's everyone but there is a sense of like yeah why would you want to be the authority over yeah oh god no yeah if you believe weird stuff from thick old books it is a small <laughs> step to believe exorcism it's true it's true yeah i yeah. mean you see the stat like 75 percent of the people in the u.s believe there are physical angels well or non-physical angels, yeah. but however you uh, think angels exist. Those are like, uh, wow, that's that's worrying statistics. That James is right. Believe in superstitions. Divas level six uh, <laughs> oh, divination. I see. I see. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> those aren't angels. Not technically, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a cleric summon. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. You just gotta use up that level six spell slot, though. That's the real thing. You might need. <laughs> yeah, that. it's if you it's only got else. one, that's. that's but I think play. adding like a, a party member to your party is solid. <laughs> <laughs> body Snatchers is a remake from the '50s movies. It gets remade again. Oh, yeah, Invasor, okay. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I want to see the original one and also the '70s yeah. one. That one looks really good. Yeah, and we I really want to watch The Exorcist 2. I looked at a trailer for it and it looks oh, insane. It's, cool. it's so cool. Like I just I it's, it's so it, weird. It sort of feels to me a little like Evil Dead Evil Dead 2 where like Evil Dead 2 is just a completely bizarre different It's totally different, but the things like the the samples that you can use out of Exorcist 2 is is absolutely amazing where he's in the is He's in the asylum? Like he's locked in jail or something? Oh, Is that the one? I don't know. I just, just I saw the trailer so. for it. I gotta see it. It just looks it just looks totally like it has very little to really do missing? with Oh, that's oh, one damn it. spot. Very little to do with the actual exorcist and just Yeah. Like... Come on guys, jump up, jump, jump. Oh, and it says and Canada has a history in the not so different past with letting the church just lose kids. Yeah, it's a dark part of our dark. Canadian history. Yeah, it's hundred percent. I mean, it's everywhere around the world, but right now it's it's a big, big a discussion in yeah. Canada. Obviously, everybody knows it's wrong, but oh, ghosts! I don't think I made it this yeah, far. Yeah, it, and it's and that's a you know that's that's a whole can of worms that topic. Yeah. Ooh, the ghosts um, can just go through everything. Yeah, it's oh my god. 
They can go through the walls. Uh, that's what's going on here. Oh no! 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 Ah! Can't get it oh, up. Yeah, okay. this is where you almost need like. There is a real tactic to this game. Yeah. Yep. You have to do the. Give me my treat. I can't. No. He's, yum, yum, oh, yum. he's like, give me some treats. But we're almost done yeah, with this. So in short, religion makes everything worse. Usually. Yeah. And that's, <laughs> it gives them an excuse to do bad things what, in the name of good. That's what I've heard. Ex religion doesn't make people bad. It gives them an excuse to be bad. And yeah. back them up with authority and a book and infallible word. And there's something about groups of people following like the beliefs of say one person that's interpreting yeah. the text and is the interpreter that's of dangerous. it. Dangerous. That's all that's like um a sign of a cult, that's one of them. Where there's one person who commands the authority. And you have to listen to them. Doing much better on book this than the seven eight yeah. Book of well, <laughs> well, you know what's funny about all that stuff, right? Is those books, like the Bible and whatnot, are like really interesting stories that have a lot to do with they're, like human nature and these kinds of, of things. They're a collection of early uh, moral stories and right? like mythology and yep. all this stuff and like and explanations of how the world works. And like, and what it does is it tells you a lot about human beings and how we're trying to make yes. meaning out of the world. And like, yeah. I don't, but I don't know if you like reading it and being like, this is definitely what I, I don't know if that. <laughs> That's maybe not. The the lesson you want to take from yeah it. but there's lots of good there's lots of interesting stuff and also funny to think like every culture has a religion and there's yeah. similarities between all of them and deep differences and that's very yes, interesting too it is yeah that's the most interesting part of religion yeah the things that are similar that people came up with uh the cross cultures and it's like okay uh, everybody seems to have S similar ideas yeah, of, and, of how things work. And right. that, like, dominant religions dominate, which makes yeah, sense. Yeah, wh why did certain ones work out and, and there's a kind of ones didn't? A dominant ideology, like, baked in. Like, it's kind of like, well, only believe in us, and if you believe in anyone <laughs> yeah. else, they're evil and you need to kill them. You're like, well, I understand why this one kind of worked out. Yeah, uh, yes. Just, like, historically compared to the one that's like, believe in us and just peacefully hang out and enjoy <laughs> a mean... <laughs> Meanwhile, it's a bit more <laughs> difficult to maintain. Yeah, meanwhile, these other ones that are but like. But if you have built in rules to destroy everyone else, else. and yours is infallible oh. and the only real true one. And when you yeah. turn 18, you need to go on a pilgrimage to sell this shit to like a bunch That's of people. Right. And the more people you sell it to. Yep. And also, a lot of them are like indoctrinate early. Oh, yeah. with, with, you know, baptism or whatever. Oh, you can get in before they're even born. Yep. Or you mark did. their body to show you are part of this religion. And just kind of make sure you're involved in all the oh. most important moments, like death, yes, marriage, yes. birth. Like you can get in on all. You can yeah. get in on all those important universal <laughs> moments. That's a good thing. Yep. Sorry, we're very. Uh, oh wait, wait. I'm sorry. This is this is not good. This is not. We got <laughs> discussing get... politics and religion. Uh, wait, wait, wait. This is bad. This is bad news, guys. Oh uh, yeah, it's bad. Anyway, Religions we're... are very first emblems, and if you know, it's first not belief emblems. anymore. But the thing is, it's is true. that thrust and gamma are with us <laughs> yeah. as we're like defeating ghosts, and perhaps we're the ones that need exorcisms. That's we'll right. Find out. We're the non-believers. The non-believers. <laughs> but uh, just to, to tell you, we are in one of the least religious countries in the world, in the least religious provinces, in the least religious zones of the province that's right so but, but, yes, but not, I, a lot, not a lot of believers but, in but, Vancouver. Uh, but also what's odd is a very spiritual like you know what i mean like spirituality yes. is this massive thing that's here. huge yes let, let me talk about organized religions that's yeah. true spirituality is out of control and but but the There's other thing a lot of witches um in, right. in vancouver a lot of people who like, do know a lot of witches be like Yo. oh yeah <laughs> that's true uh, it's a pacific northwest uh that's a thing <laughs> kind of cliche yeah um but also what's kind of cool about vancouver is it's like you know there are just like there's a pretty much a church for everything here like you know i mean there's like it's, oh, it's yeah. quite it's quite remarkable to see the that's something that is kind of cool about canada is Every there demographic. is Damn it. there is a real like respect for just like whatever anyone's yes. culture is it's like yeah. please and actually there's an it's, interest in being I like i think that's because the religions here don't really push very hard it's yeah. like they're not like out there doing crazy things and protesting and 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 it is like an 
ideological difference between America and Canada, where America's like melting pot. We're Americans, and Canada's like, eh, we're like not. Really. Everybody's good. Everyone's... Like, if you're good with us, we're good with you. Well, you're 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 we're more not. of like, well, like, you're meant to carry your culture, um, and it enhances Canada this is the rather idea. than yeah, you got to be all one. Um, which both have their pluses and minuses. Yeah, right. uh, pluses is you get some awesome food. Oops, that's right. And it's so many awesome and restaurants. And a lot of different like the US people with food. different stuff, right? And different like, oh, beliefs yeah. and thoughts. Different and... clothing, um, different way of doing things. It's just, it's fascinating. I love it. But everyone is good. We need more countries like yours. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, yeah, and I think it's, it's good and bad in Canada. Yeah. Can't, uh, can't say that it's awesome, but uh, on the whole, oh, uh, I love it. Well, that's it's a, a nice balance. No, no, I could see it coming okay. too. Yeah, we should hit that. We should hit stage seventeen. Perhaps this game truly is endless because because like, <laughs> you can't make it to the end. It gets challenging. Not not too challenging. That would be like it. one of the best like kind of like. Uh, I don't know tricks you could play where you're like it's endless and you say there's 80 levels and there's actually only 79 oh, and there's no. just like and there's like and you see it's it's like 79 out of 80 but there is no 80 and you just like spend forever <laughs> like level I can't 79 finish like, 79 what? and the, and if you like release the game you're just like oh well someone will figure it out eventually <laughs> that's right you just need to keep looking just keep going just keep going oh that's an evil evil plan that would be that would be the truly so, for the one I played uh, it was Tix's alternate. Oh, shit. Sorry. Alternate graphics. No, it's fine. Um, which are called the slim slim figures. So just a bit of different graphics. You have to hold to the left, press the button. We're gonna be playing Time Wizard. Hold to the left and then hit the yeah. button. Yeah, that was my mistake. And that goes back a little. Oh, cool. So where are we? Time going? Wizard. Um, the there one I'm most excited about. Uh, this was uh, this build is released October twenty eighth. It's um, the by Amarok, who also did Arcadia. Um, Summary of it, a battle futuristic robots attempting to alter history and seize control. As the time wizard, it's up to you to save humanity. Oh, to me? Manipulate time and outsmart your adversaries in this action-packed platformer. Um, have you ever played Braid? No. Okay. It's a time manipulation game. It's probably the most famous earlier. I that, believe someone told me to, to play it on this stream. So good. I believe, I'm, now that I'm thinking about it, I, I'm pretty sure so someone was like, you need to play Braid. So you'll get kind of a sampling of okay. the way Braid is. So you can reverse time. Lots of games have that, like um, where you die and you reverse it. But, this, but Braid in this game doesn't reverse it perfectly. Some things stay the same when you go back in time some things go back in time so um Ooh, like prince of persia <laughs> yeah there you go your task know. is to collect all the energy stored in the hourglasses oh so that robots cannot go back in time my sand the sands of time oh, oh sorry there you go see i need the sands yes play of braid time. yeah sands of time but your advance vantage is the ability to manipulate time you can stop it rewind or restore the history but be careful, some objects are resistant to time manipulation. And you cannot control them. So like what? I said, some things you reverse, some things not. During the game, press the fire button. Got it. To start the manipulation. Graphics are amazing. Music. With the button pressed, move left to rewind history or move right to restore the saved history. You can change the speed of uh, the time shift by moving left or right. Nice. Uh, release the button to restore the normal passage of time. Uh, oh, I've got it written down here. Uh, if you die, press the fire button and move left to rewind. So there's no dying in this game. You just uh, rewind time. And I guess if you get stuck, press start key to restart the level. Okay. Select to go to the main menu. So I have to remember start. Okay, press the button. Uh, so we will start I'm at level one. I'm just going to level one. one. Yep. I feel like Ooh, that's, nice. that's the one to... Nice little zappy CRT style with the line so... running through it as if you're filming a CRT. Because that doesn't happen in real life. It's when you're filming it. So It's interesting I... how those conventions become... I was like... just going to say that. Like we see things in movies and stuff and we associate feelings or things. Like when we see... 30 frames per second or 24 or 60 we associate very specific things with that even though it shouldn't matter 
Yeah, it's right? why like some of those old movies that have like terrible scans on like prints. Right. You associate like a bad scan like with hair, an old movie. Or it's going to but then like when actually they re remaster things and you're like, this looks great. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like, oh my god, it's we modern. We've been looking at a bad scan this whole time. Yep. Um, so this is by Amarok. Go for it. Ooh, I like her guy. The okay, graphics this are is astounding. Sick this. already. Oh, look at that clock okay, white. Where am I? Where am I? There you go. You teleported in. So I'm betting this is uh, simple mode. This is hey, the, you can pick up things, <laughs> and this is platforms. Oh, nice. Fuck it, fucking got this game locked down. <laughs> oh, is, you're you're this natural. This is an easy game. <laughs> New record. There you go. I think that's a world record, actually. I think so. I no, think that might no, be a. So. Um, addition to the main screen is possible to select one of the 15 levels. Oh. So you only get 15. I bet they get really complicated. So it's oh, not the graphics endless. are just beautiful. It's not until you get to 80 levels. That's so right. Oh, okay, we're getting some more I'm stuff on. in here. I think this is going to add in the time thing. Oh, I got to look. I have a little, um, check this out. I can climb up a ladder. Nice. Gamma Dev asks, did you fix your yellow tint issue with your Atari 8-bit? Yes. Finally figured it out. I was. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. How... What's happening now? Lots of jumping. There you go. Um. So what it was? I always thought it was the power supply that wasn't enough, but it was actually my video cables, which you would think I would have figured that out a long time ago. But the last time I checked them, it didn't reveal that problem. It wasn't going from the white to the yellow. So these are proper colors. Well, they're not perfect, but they're proper colors. Oh, died immediately. Spikes, not part of the scenery. Oh, it happens. Yeah. Back, left. Oh, yeah. No! Uh, um, so yeah, the, uh, the issue's fixed. No. My cable is still not great. So I've ordered another cable. There's only one place that sells it. So I'm like, oh my God, I better buy one immediately. Oh yeah, get that locked down. Yeah. I made it as instructions to make your own. So I uh, could make my own if I wanted to, if they ever stop selling it. Do you think it. I can go down? No. It's a 13, yes, I can. Okay, good. 13 pin DIN to uh, SCART. Um, and then it has like, which, I think you'll have to jump onto that one. Yeah. No. Hmm. <laughs> but it is as absolute time num uh oh it's counting down uh. Uh. It's up to jump right oh my god that's a tight one hmm yay oh no <laughs> so, so close no okay this is oh uh, i gotta go back now a minute and a half uh oh uh oh. Oh what? Oh, you have to jump over, over those lower spikes. Um, all the beginning, all the levels except the first one are locked. You must successfully pass the level to unlock the next one. To do it, you must collect all the hourglass to go to the time portal. You have a limited time to pass the level. But remember, you can rewind time if needed. The time you don't use is a score for the level. So does it? Oh, it does rewind your time. Okay. I don't know how to get out of this. Can though. you not jump over those double spikes, or is that too far? It's a bit too far. Hmm. Um. Oh. Oh, I know. You rewind. Just keep rewinding till you go way, way back. Uh oh. Uh oh. Press again. Go faster. Faster. And there. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Oh, do I have to rewind even oh, further? Oh, yeah. You might have to go right to the beginning. So it goes at half speed first, then one, then two. Even the ships at the top are flying backwards. That's so awesome. Oh, no. No. You have to get those time pieces. Some are immune to the time. Some aren't. Interesting. Okay, we're going to figure this out. Or maybe so many are. Because those don't appear. Oh, they do. There you go. How do I get back? Maybe I can go down? Yes. Okay, okay. Here, oh, there you go. So those some, so those really... time aren't immune. You have to collect those. Uh, that's a tough one. 
I'm also should um, have got those hundred fifty dollar monster cables. Oh boy! You're also definitely better at these kinds of games. Oh, I love these. platformers. There you go. Pretty soon. I'll... Gamma Devs, I just got the RGB to HDMI, oh, and it's great for most retro computers all the way up to AGA Amigas, but weirdly it doesn't support uh, Atari 8-bit, Apple, CBM, BBC, etc., but no Atari 8-bit, only ST. Interesting. Hmm. I mean, I don't need RGB to HDMI because I have an upscaler that does that, but for people who don't have upscalers, it's a very, it's a lot more affordable um, solution for that. Especially if you don't want to start messing around with different formats and stuff. Hmm. So I... So those are teleporters to the right and left. Oh! That changes everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, find the right teleporters to get you to the right places. Oh, oh no. no! That's okay. I think the teleporters are one to one. Yeah. Okay, so that's a dead end. How did I get through this one? I think you'll have to rewind. I don't know. <laughs> I think you'll have to rewind. Whoa! What a game. Yeah. And Braid was like this. Let's see how you how did you get through it. Oh, different things turn different things on and off. Oh, that one just turned it off. Turned that bottom left one on. Oh, okay. Now this one's blocked. Yep. Hmm. This one is here. I think there must be a certain order. Now you're stuck, right? Do you want me to reset it? Oh, uh, I think I'll die pretty soon anyways. <laughs> 30 degrees out. Plus it's way cheaper. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. Um, like if you're not into like tons and tons of different systems all being hooked up through an upscaler and you only need one thing to be upscaled to HDMI and attached to your TV, then it's a much, much cheaper option because these are hundreds and hundreds of dollars. The upscalers, like the new one, the 4K upscaler, which is going to be like $700, which is crazy, but it does so much and I really want it. I will get it. It will happen. It has so many inputs on it. It will happen. Let well, me give this I'll one let, a I'll try. I'll let you give, it a, give this guy What was go. the thing to start over? Start. Okay. Let's give it a try. Because maybe you don't get... See, does that turn it off? No, it just turns it on. See, I might have messed it up right there. Well, that's the first one. Oh, yeah, you're right, because you right? can go back I through. think that's the thing. You, te you pick that one. So, hmm. What's this one turn? Let's find out. Let's just, like, experiment. It turns on that, which is fine, because I've already got that one. Yeah, so... So that's fine. So does this rewind? So what did that one do? Pop over to the other one, like see. Yeah. Now I'm gonna get this. Wow, this is like a, this is a really cool game. Yep. This is like, big, uh, this is pretty big brain. Oh no, <laughs> okay. No, definitely messed this up. Yeah, how do you reset? Oh, you just, yeah, you just. You can do that, but you press start. That makes sense. Um. Yeah, these definitely you do in a certain order. Yeah, yeah, it's I kind of, do all of this these is basically first. a puzzle game. Yes. And you just kind of kind of figure out the the order that you do it in, right? Am I screwed? Okay. 
Is this like braid? Yeah, I think so. From it's all mechanics of mechanics are. From from what my I gotta play braid though. Okay, there. Let's get that one. Yeah, you gotta play braid. Oh my goodness! I think I have to map this out. <laughs> I'm screwed. Ah, I'm screwed again. Go so back one first. Just Definitely back one sense. first because that's a freebie. And then, um, what closes when you do this one? We'll that, go. which is f fine, maybe not. Because yeah, why close it unless you have to? But the thing is, is that like. There we go. Now, what does this one close? Let's find out. That. And there, are there three rooms or two? Just two. I mean, there's one continuous yeah, yeah, long yeah, yeah. room. I'm just trying to... That makes sense. <gasps> did I do it? What did I, did I get it? Oh. I need one more. <laughs> I don't think I did, but... Yeah. <gasps> oh! No. Still one more to get. Uh, That's where it almost feels like there's... Do you know no. what I mean? That's where it feels like there's three different rooms, you know what I mean? Right. The wall portal graphics are cool looking. I totally agree. The graphics are this I is totally stunning. Agree. Okay, when did that turn on? Oh, I should get this one now. There we go. Yo, what you doing, Atari? Okay, now I've got everything on this side. But now I'm screwed. Yeah. Damn it! There is this an order you have to do. This is very much a puzzle. Damn. This is a puzzle game. Yep. Uh, well, we will um, maybe leave this one and leave it to another date. Yeah, good for call. an after dark, because we're gonna have to do some mapping, and that's super super boring on stream. But really, like everything about this game is expert level well the graphics the music one thing i, I will i will say about it is it really just like jumped up in difficulty <laughs> <laughs> I, kind of i mean yeah. if you mapped it this one's not too bad you would have to go what portal goes to what portal and what button turns on what thing but yeah. even then after you know that it's like Oh, here, 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 here. Yeah. Yeah, sudden ramp up is a bit hefty. Well, to go, from, to go from the last level to this is like, whoa. That's a lot. Yeah. But um, but I'm here for it. Yeah. That's the thing. Oh, I, yeah. I, I'm, I've said this take up before. It's not like a... Like puzzle. Is that like one thing I really appreciate about older games is that they couldn't program as many levels. So part of what made the games have more longevity is they were more challenging the levels. Yes. Because these days there is this issue with gaming where you're like, there's a... 5,000 levels, but they're all kind of pretty easy versus like older games. Like, I think about like Castlevania NES is a perfect yeah. example where you're like, <laughs> Whoa, like this is not that many Hard levels, but game. but you can play this so much because there's so much to practice. Yeah, and the levels are so like the the the, bot, the uh, enemies are all over the place, you have to memorize the patterns, and there's different ones coming at you. <clears throat> so, you can see it's white on this screen mm -hmm. before it was kind of off sickly yellow when my uh, video cable wasn't working. I mean, it's still not working. It's just in a position where it's working. Uh, Caverns of Iris Ooh. by PBR, P Peter Prodel. Um, this is posted on October 30th. Go for it. I think I've heard that acronym somewhere else. PPR? Yeah. Probably. Um, he also... Oh, Paps Blue Ribbon. <laughs> PBR, go. yeah, PPR. Oh, PPR. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, he also made Battle of Iris as well. Uh, this came in sixth place in ABBUC 2020. Is this a glitch or a conceptual um, music track? This is the audio. It's it's a representation of audio of the game loading from floppy disk. The oh, drrr. cool. And it's something you can listen to so you know things are still loading. Because it sounded funny. like a, almost a glitch, but I don't know. It kind of does. Enter. In Caverns of Eris, players will navigate an immersive cave-like environment, taking control of an animated spherical spaceship. 
The objective? Blast your way through unending waves of alien spaceships in this adrenaline-pumping horizontal shooter. Um, so PBR posted this initially July 6th in the uh, Atari H forums. He said, first look uh, at my new game. So go for it. So that's you, spinning guy. And uh, when the guys come on the screen, that's when you'll be able to shoot. Which is kind of interesting that he doesn't allow you to shoot till enemies uh, come on the screen. Uh, this is definitely and a James, James <laughs> game. <laughs> and you are, there are power-ups, so you do want to get that thing. And how you get it is you kind of hover over it for a second. There you go. <laughs> there is a bar at the bottom. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think it no. translates to how much damage Okay, I've taken, taken. I've taken so much damage. <laughs> yeah, you're able to take a bit of damage. Which is nice. What's that? Is that a power-up? Yep. Pulsator. I'll take a pulsator. Okay, that's definitely stronger. Hi, Cat. How are you? Cat, Cat. In which order are we playing? We're playing in oh. order of what works best on the stream. <laughs> so not really any order. Well, I got nine ships. I got some, I got some. It's it's a challenging game. Oh, you lost one. Eight ships. Well, I can't off screen. Uh, yeah, you can't run into any of the things that are on the screen. Um. You is get... it me, or does the game have a little flicker with the enemies? Hey, 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 hey. Like, it almost feels like the enemies are sort of like... Yeah, there is a, a bit of flicker. There's a bit of... Which could be a feature. Tearing, I would say, in the movement of the background. These look like a mini Death Star. It's just... Um, but a lot of these games that are entered into the contest aren't finished games. Um, they add on to them, or they make extended versions of them later on. And they just get them to a point where they they can compete in the game. Ah, oh, there you go. One thing, um, holding it down, it doesn't seem to... On power-ups, I found it does a little bit. You see what I mean? Like, right now, I'm holding it down. Yeah. Nothing, so I gotta... I gotta it's a spammer. Yeah. Which is there isn't a thing. rapid fire on everything. On some of the weapons, you do get rapid fire. And I'm not sure what that bar on the bottom is for. It's very lenient. I'm doing so bad, and it's, it's, still, oh, allowing, it's life. still allowing me to play. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, very lenient on the number of lives and how much damage you can take. Which is quite nice. Yeah, I'm using a PAL 800XL. 99% of games that are made for the Atari 8-bit are made primarily, or at least first, for PAL. They sometimes release an NTSC version, so I needed to get a a PAL Atari 8-bit computer. Um, I do have an NTC as well, just in case. Um, yeah, there's a lot of flicker. Oh! Uh. But still very, very playable. Hyper Blast. I think that bars your... No, the, it's not your life. Whoa, is that a boss? It just went down, and I don't know why. I don't see a boss. No. I can't shoot anymore, though. Am I out of Is it the, No, it's... You can't shoot in between levels. As soon as the enemies come on the screen, then you can shoot again. Like the little Pac-Man. <laughs> the Pac-Mans are coming! Ah! Uh -huh. Is that a power-up or something yep. that would kill Phaser. me? Phaser. That's the thing that... The static things? Those are power-ups. Cool. Yeah. Level progress? <sighs> That's what I was thinking, too. Level four, it, although... Oh, yeah, it might be. Oh, when you shoot enemies, it goes down. Okay, it is level progress. And it goes down when you shoot the enemies. So I have to kill a certain number you of enemies to. before. And you don't go to the next wave of enemies till you kill the last of the enemies on this. So it is level progression, but it's not what you think of it as level progression. It's n that number of up. enemies you kill. That's what progresses you. So you'll see it go down really fast, and sometimes really slow. But it goes down fast when you're killing a bunch of enemies. Uh, this one placed uh, sixth place out of the 11 games. There were some utilities afterwards, but uh, people didn't uh, enjoy the utilities as much as the games. So they're all, all at the bottom of the list. Yeah. So it's interesting that they don't have a separate category for the 
for the utilities because they're right they, how do you can, how can you put up utilities against games that's a yeah hard... it's sort of different categories yeah is what it feels like because like what is the what's the purpose of a game how do you compare? is to sort of entertain and like maybe yeah. maybe just like for you to be able to get lost in this thing versus utilities designed as sort of like solve a problem how or, useful is this yeah how, give how you a quality this? of life right how much was this oh, what is that? how much was this needed in the Atari 8-bit world, was were they missing this utility? Yeah. But I guess you could look at it as, okay, here are the games, and here are the utilities, and you can kind of self-break them out. Then yeah. you don't have to, have to hold two contests for them, right? Because they do say, oh, I don't know like if that, that is a boss. I don't think it is an enemy. No. Just and they're kind of phasing background. through everything, which is kind of fun. Yeah. It's kind of background. Oh. Uh, can we give it a go? Yeah, well, look, there's I, so many lives. There, right? I don't think I'm gonna die anytime soon. <laughs> it's very forgiving, let's say. Yeah, and then you kind of get lives after a while. It's a, kind of a meditative experience. Yeah, some games are like, yeah, you can just keep playing. We want you to experience the whole game. How is this placed? That's a good question. Maybe after this game, we should look at that. Oh, I got. There, I, I answered that. Oh, you already did. Okay. Yeah. I think I said sixth. Sixth. Yeah. Which is not bad. Oh. We're level seven now. I don't know how many, really isn't much information about this. So I don't I think, know how many levels there are. I think what's interesting too, like a game like this in, in a kind of competitive environment, the thing is, is it's, you compare, there's so many games in this genre that yes. that have done it so well. It's hard. Yeah, that you're kind of comparing it to other ones. You and to, yeah. um, And there's a kind of question of what makes this sort of like, this shooter different than others right like what are you yes. what are the what are the ways and it doesn't have to be different it can just be like a simple x like versus like time wizard you can compare it to braid but other yes. than that it's a pretty like it's a kind of concept that's fairly not and, used very often yeah this is you know a highly used one so you you have high competition where i like i enjoy this game but i can see why it's a sixth place one because it's not doing anything that's super innovative not that it has to like no, i don't need oh, a, a game to be like anything special no it just has to do it well uh maybe have something unique i think i think each game should do something unique that you really haven't seen in another game yeah. Uh, either in art, in music, in play style. I should maybe concentrate on the boss. What is that thing hanging around? Oh, it's, it's a real power. xenomorph feel. Yeah, and a lot of shooters lend themselves to that uh, body horror. Oh, you know what? I should leave. Oh, no, they just threw a punish. Oh, no boss health. No yeah, boss health. Yeah, so you're health. just truly just shooting and hoping. No. Spray and pray. There we go. Nice. Shoot at the eyes. I like the... Yeah, and I, I feel like, too, that the environmental design um, is starting to get actually more interesting as soon as I said this. <laughs> yeah, it's got more colorful. It's got more, more colorful, crazy. but it's interesting that they're phasing through it. Um, that's interesting, right? There's yeah. also something kind of like, you know, like now it's starting to become more of like these these things uh, are, you have to dodge them a little bit. Like there's narrower yes. passageways. I feel like that's something that this game kind of, but what's interesting is here, right? Like this one's colliding with the thing on top and going through. Oh yeah, a lot of parallax. So that, that's something. Yeah. You usually but... see only like the background doing the parallax, like stars and stuff. Yeah. Polaron beam. So yeah, the basics of shooters are something you have to navigate through. There's enemies. There's power-ups. Nice. There's a boss, and it fulfills all those things. All those things, yeah. But then it's but then the thing is, is you're comparing it to like a million games. Yes. So it's versus hard. like Time Wizard, you're like, oh, this is like one game that I like. <laughs> that has very few games in that genre. Yeah. yeah. The other one, platformer. But it's a very well executed. Yeah, platformer. very specific kind of thing, like like filling in the the gaps of yep. uh, you know like. It's not a new concept, but not many games utilize that, where you have to traverse over and fill in. Uh, and reminding someone of a game that they love is not a bad thing either, right? No. Like that's the thing is is borrowing and and kind of developing and moving, and pushing something forward. I think a lot of great games come from people who love a game and have played it a bunch and go like, yes. I wish this game was had all these elements, but maybe not this and this. Like that's where well, you that's where you get some really good stuff. Let's take Baldur's Gate three as an oh, example yeah. of like the peak of its genre of RPGs. Oh, yeah. 
So it took a well-traveled rule set of D&D. Yeah, 5e. Um, took um, modern aesthetics of really good graphics, which is expected nowadays. Or you either go really, really good graphics or you go for a style nowadays because each, each is possible. But what it really brought to the table that no other game did is the voice acting and the writing. Yeah. It is at peak performance. And, and so that's what that brought to the table. Uh, there's million RPGs with great graphics, uh, great rule sets, great monsters, but this one is like, wow, this world is really well constructed. Yeah, and I think also it helps they have those um, one and two to build from. Yeah, um, that too. And then also I think it owes a lot to, to kind of... And it, what's interesting is Mass Effect is the same developers who developed Baldur's Gate, but there's something about having four companions and having relationships with them. No, oh, not, that's not, not new, but it's they did it very, very well. It's like, no, you can't just have a relationship with somebody. You have to butter them up and you yeah. have to work on it. And, and, and even relationships beyond just like, um, you know, romantic, but like you you build this yes. close bond to a character. Uh, Der Schranker 3, oh, the time has come. Oh. See, I've been waiting for <laughs> for a couple years for, th for three, the trilogy for to, three to come out, man. It's <laughs> one and two. Uh, we did play one and two last year. They were entered in the same right. contest. Oh, nice. uh, this is by uh, Yanko Greve, a Gveltifer. Um, this belt, you can load it up. Uh, October 30th, 2023. Um, Are you sure? Because I believe BioWare did both Mass Effect and Baldur's Gate. Well, there's developers and then there's uh, publishers, so that might be the might mix be, might be, Okay, that might be the might, might yeah. be the mistake. So this came in fourth place. Uh, summary from Vintage is the old, new old. Set in the heart of the jungle, Der Schranker Three Schranker. presents players with the task of uncovering five hidden caves. With four of these caves lie crucial gold keys, which must be collected to access the treasure chamber in the fifth. So there you go. Um, hello, this year I want to participate in the ABBCU contest, therefore I have programmed the next part of my game, Der Schranker. Yes. Currently my game is in the test, whether it can be admitted, I hope so. I've already posted a video of my game, blah blah blah, uh, and then he posted this Monday. The game is now for the Atari XEXL on the Atari 5200 as well, available for download on my website. And um, I do have a printout of the instructions, because it is not... Super straightforward. I'll just hit it. Show you. Oh, yeah. you can go for it. You can jump in. Uh, there's normal mode and helfen mode. Normal mode, Shranker will die as soon as he uses up his last, last life. Rip. Oh, uh, no. Do I, I got to jump over them. destroyed you. Or or avoid them. Because there is no... Is there a jump? Yeah, there's a jump. I suppose there's no duck. It's just a jump. Um... However, if you loot the treasure and find the exit, you will receive a bonus point for each life you have left. I don't think you can jump over the bird. Do I d duck on the bird? Uh, or let's do see. I just die? Joystick up in the maze. Player goes through the top passage at the top. Uh, joystick down. That you can jump over. There you go. Uh, joystick left and right goes left and right. Um, with the fire button pressed. Oh, yeah. So press the button and then down is duck. So try that. There you go. Okay, that's how I deal with these birds. Snakes. Oh, his tail bit you. <laughs> Tough times, man. And Tough jump times left and right jungle. goes in the right direct in the left and right direction. Um, so De Shranker 3, 50k of code, it needs a 64k oh. yeah. uh, computer. So you have to find the caves. So your first thing is to find the caves. And the next thing is to, f oh, I jumped into the bird. Find the keys in the caves. So we have to find a cave first. Oh, um, and if you press the button, there's a map mode. Or what is it? Where is it? There is a map mode somewhere. Oh no, birds. Fire button only. Oh no, if the map is open. Oh yeah, Gamma Dev, you're totally right. BG3 Larian series. I was thinking BG1 and 2 is like Bioware. Uh, yeah, this is very different than the other Shrankers. The other ones are completely different. Oh. So, let me read a bit more. Duck a jump. Yep. You have to find the caves. 
And I think there is a place where you can find a map, too. It's oh, good animation so on that. Uh, Tips and tricks. Right the caves have Roman numerals at their entrance. This tells you which cave you're entering. Cave 5 is the cave with the treasure chamber. Do not enter until you have all four golden keys. Okay. Nice. Uh, once you have... Oh, is ducking, ducking takes a little bit more time? Well, because the thing is... You have to... With ducking, you need to hold. If you push down and okay, I gotta push down and then hold. Down button. Okay. Just building, building in the reflexes. <laughs> oh, I saw you go down a little bit, but okay, I almost, almost got it. There's something about bombs, but we're not there yet. Oh, number five. No, well, at least we'll see what the cave is. Oh, this is totally different. So you oh, so don't I have, need, I need, need the keys. I need some keys. So there's one, okay. two, three, four keys. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, well, that's there's the cave. He's got some keys. <laughs> oh, he was hiding behind the bush. It's just tough. Yeah, it's a tough game. This is a tough one. R, I, P, this is and some tough. German okay, stuff. All the stuff. All so the there's stuff. a start. Okay. There's no map. Oh, up. Okay, that makes a big Button. difference. How do you get it? Up. Oh, up and the button. Okay. And that'll help you navigate this. Yes. This, this labyrinth. It is labyrinthian. So I'm going to go left and up. No, into the bird. No, you have to have reflexes in this game. Like, fast. And there's a delay kind of with some of the... Oh, good. Okay. No, number one. Okay, cool. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Skeleton. Do I get kicked out? Or do I... I should have kept jumping. I think I can still do it. Okay. Oh no! So I have to not fall down. Oh my lives. Okay. My XP's. Well, my XP's. Well, the enemy's gone. Okay, don't have the key for that. Turns into Montezuma's Revenge. Okay. So cool that there's some different, like. Only, yeah, a different perspective. Okay. I think I need that other star. Can I fall down one, or do I need to land on that? Nice. Okay, I have... Okay. Okay, I'm gonna fall, do that. I have a key. Oh, there's down. Okay. Oh my god. So what are these stars? Are they just points? Oh, I have a red key. This is Montezuma's Revenge. Wow! Like, this definitely is Montezuma's Revenge. So, how, you, how do you... Oh, okay, you survive. The first part, you're in a maze being attacked by birds instead of dragons that look like ducks. No! Oh! Oh, rip. This is a hard game, dude. This is very hard. Do I start here? Yeah, okay. Can I get... I can get up to here. Yeah, you gotta use all your resources just to maybe get the first one. Yep. Uh, now I have the blue key. I don't have a brown key. So you need, like, multiple keys. Even in here. So, like, and then you need to what complete, like, what, multiple dungeons? Oh, my God. Okay. Right, so we yeah, need... Yeah, multiple so five we need, dungeons. So we need five dungeons, and each dungeon has, like, five keys. And we'll well, have... I, well, I think you have to get the golden key at the end That's of right. the... Yeah. Okay, and I guess who knows how many keys are so inside what do I need each to do? dungeon. Should I run across there? No, because I don't have the red key. So I need to get the red key first. So you, but, but can I jump back? Oh, but I then somehow you need the blue oh, key. There we go. What? What? No! I didn't even fall very no. far. Oh, no. okay. Is the map the same every time? It's not like this. I bet it is. No! Ah. No! Okay, you, you dodged the bird for the first, first time. First time. You were able to do what I was not able to do. Yeah. Cats are getting uh, antsy for some reason. <laughs> uh, might be time to give them some treats because they are very. Exp oh, this looks the same. Okay, okay. Well, we know how to get to uh, pathing. We figured it out. There we go. Number one. Okay, okay cool, cool. 
And you call my game hard. <laughs> my game's hard. This is what the <laughs> said. Yeah, this is a tricky one. This is different. This is um. This is definitely. To the top. Here's the thing about this game. It a hundred percent benefits from multiple plays. Like this is oh, a game that yeah. like I don't know if anyone is beating this game the first time they play it. Like no. this is really like you gotta learn. And and it benefits from a little bit of memorization. Oh yeah. He says it reminds him of uh, a Datasoft Conan game. Um, Do you know that game? I don't know that yeah, game. Yeah, I. Yeah, it's a very good game. Oh, what's going on? Oh, the ladder down. Um, Conan's very good. It's um, some of it is very repetitive, unfortunately, but it. I would, well, this is more Montezuma's Revenge, obviously. It's almost like a, a ripoff of it there. An homage. Homage. Oh, good, 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 good skills. Um, wow. Conan uses swords a lot. So that's a big difference between this one and... Oh, can't just jump straight up on it. No, I'm so stupid. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't even looking up there. And involve Austrians with limited use of the English language at that point in their career. <laughs> Oh, so you can jump off of something, yes, but that... not fall off of something. Mmm. Okay. Interesting. So I'll know that. For Look now. at this little some roly poly. He's so happy. Skeleton Doesn't head. He look happy. There's a cuteness factor to this like terrifying skull. Okay. Can you drop down through I, this? I, I, I died when I dropped. But are you able to like push down through like this platform? No. So can I jump on to it? Maybe I can... No, I have to fall into that. Let's see. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh, it resets. Okay, that's good. Oh, kind of good. Oh, do you maybe like... Um... See, I can jump, but I, I can jump further than I can just fall off. That's very interesting, hey? Yeah, so this should be a slide. All right, why do you like my jacket so much? He loves it. You can jump off anything. Super high. Cool. Okay. We're, we're learning our tactics. So I've got now. red now. There we go. I can jump onto that. See? Oh my god. We can fall off very small. So I, I bet I'm close to the... No, not yet. <laughs> You're like, wait. <laughs> wait I don't. There's more. Not even close. So I kind of feel like what you want to do with this one is almost like just get that key to start with. Yeah. And then figure out how to get to the next... Oh, oh, everything kills me when I touch it, but the, the key doesn't, huh? Oh, oh, that's infuriating. I can jump off that height, but not fall. Hey, uh, pseudographs. Hey, welcome. Okay, we're what going up, to do this again. Pseudographics. Not real graphics, pseudographics. They're just placeholders. Well, they're just, they're in here, you know? <laughs> Bird. Okay, good dodge from the yep. bird. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna finish this first. Okay, should I do this? Yeah. No, you do die from jumping off heights. But that's. Uh. But you I don't, don't know. I don't know what the like the the you know like the friggin' parameters are for. No, neither do I. I'm not sure yet. I also don't quite know what those points are really gonna do. Eh, uh, points are points. points I. I Bombs don't kill you, but a possible fall damage does. So that's the thing, man. You gotta you gotta look out for falling four feet. <laughs> you gotta learn the rules of this, <laughs> grenade, this universe. Like, don't worry about it. Uh, grenade's fine. Nothing. You're immune to that. The grenade is all good. Yeah, so I don't care about those things. They're just... Are they even points? My points didn't go up. Let me see this. 270? Yeah, okay, yeah. This okay. is some... Just didn't notice. No one cares about those. Because the points are really important. Not unless I'm getting free lives. Yeah, not, not unless I'm... Ah! Like, oh, I held it down for too long. This is a really treacherous land that we're traversing. It is. It's a lot, like, it's a lot of stuff can just kill. Like, the fact that birds are just ready to just fly into your head and kill you. So how did I do this? I did that. Oh, no. Oh, this is not the... I cave, you'll find that the final key doesn't work in the door without a lightning adapter. <laughs> that's, that's exactly right. That's right. You need your adapter. Let's... You need that USB-C no! cable. It's no, just, just going to say it, that. It's, a... <laughs> it's all USB-C now. 
It's all good. I remember when they said Thunderbolt was going to be that, and then like they're, yeah, they were then, thinking that. I really don't think. I think they kind of. I wonder when they gave up on Thunderbolt because for a long time I was nobody wanted to pay the Apple tax. That's when. Yeah, that makes sense. They're like Apple. Get, Sony and Apple does that all the time. They're like ours is best. Everybody should use ours, and they charge more for theirs, and uh, nobody adopts it, almost ever. Yeah. So nobody, you know. Multiple, multiple Apple people were just uh, explaining to me how much um, Thunderbolt was going to be the new thing. And I, I thought it was going. I needed to, be. to invest in the future, and now it's USB C. And so I kind of like I feel like I've already heard this story. Before, you know? <laughs> Oh, it is solidly USB-C. Solidly. Because they didn't come up with it. They were forced by the EU yeah. to use USB-C. Like, oh, my God. Until the next one comes out. Yeah. That's the thing. I think it'll be this way for a while. But uh, USB-C has a lot of bandwidth, so it's pretty And it's a power good. cable combined with, like, a... Uh, it's reversible. A, a, combined with data, combined with, like... Oh, video. It's got everything. Ooh, what's that? Until USB D. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and E? They really should keep naming them like that. Until USB C2. You're like, no. Oh, God. I can't duck. Okay. Do I run for the ladder? Nope. Why did it take 20 years to realize to make an adapter that can never be plugged in the wrong way? I know. So, what the so hell? true. I can't. Oh, I can duck. Can I duck in here? Oh, okay. Ooh. What a, what a, what a funny This duck. reminds me me of Aztec Challenge. To duck underneath. Let's go down here. What's down here? This is huge! Yeah, oh this is just God. one of five. Yeah. This is just wow. one this of five. This is really cool. Expensive. Like, I really feel like I'm traversing a cave at this point. Whoa. There it is. Well, at least we know. Oh, I've got three out of the four. I'm going to open them just because. Now I have to look for the final red key, and that probably Which teleports Which is going to be in the out. room down to the right here, Most I guarantee you. Likely. I shouldn't guarantee anything. I don't Guaranteed? know any. I don't know anything. 100%? I don't even know oh, you're the, right. the developers for my favorite game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, which way are you going to go? Okay, let's go up, up, up. Okay. Now there was something over here I did not explore. Maybe to the right? Yep. Just past there. I think that's the only room left. You know what this game's all about? Never mind. This game is all about finding keys to get the key to then get, open to the other the key, key, to, get the key. To, to open the other keys. And maybe get enough Huge. keys to open the final door <laughs> that will have maybe more keys. Uh, oh my god. Oh no, I killed it. Okay, next, forget that gold, don't care. Oh, that thing I picked up was um, armor. Okay. Oh, armor's not bad. Oh my god, that was too big of a jump. Oh, yeah. And then that pole. Damn who cares about gold? The fact that we've like we've risked everything <laughs> for maybe one gold key out of five. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> there we go. Cave one completed. Now the gold key should give us a life if this game is at all nice. It should because I only have now one. You, oh, see, like, what are the odds? No. Of, I was just gonna say, what are the odds that that doesn't happen? Because this giant leap. It's over. No. You gather resources to make better tools. To gather, to gather resources. better resources. That's the name of the grind, man. Oh, that is true. USB 3.2 Gen 2. There are multiple generations that can be contained within the USB. -C. I knew. I knew it. And if you don't have the right one, and you plug it in, you go, I how come it. this USB-C See, this is even worse. Work? You could get the cable that then... I, so, get, I feel the one they sell at the gas station is probably not the one you need. So what I did is I bought... <laughs> oh, where is it? I don't... It's somewhere over there. Um, a USB-C tester, and it will tell me what gen it is. So I have to label all my USB cables, so I know that kind of garbage... When I plug something in, oh, why isn't this working? Oh, it's the wrong generation, because none of them are labeled on the cables, of course. Um, really great game. Oh, anybody want to feed the cats? Trigger the cats? They're getting a little bit crazy. Getting crazy. Cats? Tree time? Cat cats. Cat time. Is it treat time? Tree a great time. game. <gasps> Who triggered it? It's been Ivory summoned. Tower collections. 
Thank Ivory. you so much. There are two cats that are very stoked. They're very happy that They're you so did stoked. that. The battle. So, as you guys are about to vote, I'm going to tell you a fact. Never once have I seen Atari win. He won last In, in all episode. the time that I've been here. Now, I wasn't there for this. Is it true? I, true? I can look it up on the stream. I'm sure it happened, but I just want you to know that... A hundred percent of the time Atari has never won <laughs> since I've been here. That's right. Now this could be the day. This could be the day, could but this be. is I just want you to know. He gets this. it first. It could be. Uh how many games did I miss before this one? Maybe three. Uh, three. So we're on to the Are we or is this last, two? I think we're on the last one next. Let's see. Three. We have Retro Maze. So three. This I think I I think I am. Oh sorry, sorry, you missed this is the fourth game. This is the fourth game, yeah. So we're gonna be playing the fifth and last game next. That's right. Um, so the betting is started. Uh, you guys have about a minute and a half. I'm going to trap I, the cats in I, here. Look, I, am here. The, here. I am the Atari Jinx. Don't go out there. Come here. Don't be stupid. Come in here. Silly cat. It could have something to do with the way in which I throw the treats. Yeah, you it, need to... Um, it, could be, it could be like... Throw it right in front of the bell. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do it. I'm going to try to help out my guy here. Oh... I'm not gonna. I'm not like gonna, that. I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna <laughs> go to. But this is this is like you know LeBron's on the court and like <laughs> the refs gonna sort of like okay. let let him. He traveled. Ah, who cares? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, we're not true. gonna call it travel. We're not gonna call any fouls. Uh, but this guy, this guy here, he's an expert. This guy. Let's put it up on here. I'm tossing these. Oh, look at that! Treats across One the room. One person is on Atari, so oh. if Atari wins, everything goes. Fixing to... the game now. There's no fixing. There's no. no there's no fixing. <laughs> this is this is a truly balanced competitive oh, that person's gonna get a lot of points. I'm letting you guys know, 100 percent of the time, Atari hasn't won. That <laughs> and it, it, but this could be the day that be he fair, wins. Yeah, uh, Sprite does win like 95 percent of the games now. Atari needs to step up. There's his game. only a hundred on Atari. Oh. <laughs> oh, Atari, you're the underdog, Atari. buddy. Oh, at the last minute, two more people put it on Atari. Okay, so, okay, but still, seventy-two okay. percent of the points are on Sprite. Okay, are you ready, cats? Are you ready? Yes. No. Okay, go for it. Oh, and Sprite is off to the races. Atari, I'll give Atari that one. Oh, good, good, good. Even though it wasn't his bell, it was still a bell. Atari's a slow eater, so that's what that's his a... weakness is. But his strength is strong bell ringing. Okay. Oh, one for both. One, double tap. Double tap. Yep, double tap. So they're they're tied right now. Very even. Oh, Sprite. Sprite does a very soft touch sometimes, and he and he's very gentle. And Atari's a little bit stronger with his bell ringing. Oh, see, see, see what I'm saying? Sprite. Okay, this is, is this is that's his Sprite. downfall. That's where he's. He what fails. happened to the stream? Is what people are asking. Did something happen? No, it's all good. Who was that? The oh, Sprite. Sprite. Okay. No, there's no. <gasps> Atari. Atari. He's, can't, he's still four four. So, oh, Sprite. Sprite. Come on, Atari. Get back in the game. Get your head in the game. Ring that bell. There we go. It's tied up again. Sprite's technically ahead. In terms of time, he's a little confused. Oh, he's doing the soft touch. Oh, soft he's touch. Come on, Atari, ring that bell. Oh, buddy, buddy, You're still buddy, chewing. Come on. Oh no, he's kind of. There he goes. He's tied it up six six. It's a very good race. Very good race. Oh, a very soft ring from Sprite. He's pulled ahead by a little bit, but not far. <gasps> Atari. Atari's not far behind. Atari, he needs to is chew this a your little day? faster. Oh, Sprite is pulled ahead again. That doesn't count. He was running away. Okay, another. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. He didn't know where it went. It went... He's very good at smacking it off. Oh, it's game Sprite. point. Nine to eight for Sprite. Come on, Atari. Ring that bell. You can still do it. Oh, it's oh. over. Ten nine. Good competition, though. Tough, tough, tough. I'll give you the power. That was very good. Um, I'll give you the power. Oh, guys, I didn't. I wanted to even. I was even trying to help this guy out. Yeah. The best I could. He did very well, though. He did well. He did very, well. Very, very well. It's a tight race, though. It's a tight race. Very tight race. So let's dole out the points. Of course, it's Sprite again, but you never know. Someday, guys. So who's the big winner? Ivory Tower Collections gets Ivory. the big points. Only two people on Sprite. See, I gotta, I gotta like let them know the odds that I see from my end. And, it's true. And the odds are pretty unanimous. 
Tari needs to work on his eating time. He's, he was pretty good today. He he's was very fast, right. but he's still a lot slower than Sprite eating, and that's the that's the thing. Sprite by a whisker. Well, it was only 100. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, if you're going to bet on Atari, bet low. Bet you know, low. it's against the odds, but you big payout if you get it. Okay, we are on to the last game of the day. The game of the day. It is Retro Maze. And uh, it is made by, oh, way down. Let's go back here. Retro Maze by Peter Hines, AKA Retro Coder. It's a 31K XEX game. Uh, and this was just put out, uh, released yesterday, the binary, just in time for the show. How about a, a game poll at the end of the show? What's that mean? A game, game poll. poll. Would be a game That's poll. not a bad idea. I don't know what this means. I'm on board. Well, it's a poll and yeah. I'm guessing what he means is what people thought their favorite game of the oh, day yeah, was. Oh yeah, that's a good that's idea. That's so obvious. Thrust. That yeah. we haven't, why we have not done it. <laughs> in five and a half years uh sometimes the most obvious things are right in front of your face well, and I, especially for today it's it's more applicable because it was of was voted on let's see like what people what people think how the spread uh, well uh well ireland's playing this game i will set up the poll and that's an awesome suggestion thrust we're going to do that every day now every day every day so uh we're going to be playing um retro maze by retro coder. Ooh, okay, so it's not just a maze. It's a retro maze. Dot X E -X. Retro maze. Stick into that eight characters. Go for it. Reading so, file. Whoa. Oh, it's all pesky. I saw the Matrix and then it turned all into... All that Yeah, it was like, what? I, it's because it, um, it it's probably all done with um, custom tiles. And they're usually using the... Um, graph or the character set as tiles custom this tiles. is like the doom uh, oh, uh nobody can see that the doom code that we saw the oh yes who just like did the numerical doom that's right i said i just see redheads and blondes and brunettes and <laughs> <laughs> traveling down the screen uh took me 5.5 years too well we got there Perhaps we could do the poll after the next show with all the ABPCU games having been presented. Perhaps well, we do both. That's tough because some people can't watch both shows. Like Thomas is in a different time zone. Um, what if we do all three? Uh, all three. Uh, like do one after this show, then one oh, after just the show, and then the total? That's possible for the people who saw both. And yeah. If, yeah, okay. Yep. There you go. Okay. So the summary. Challenge yourself with 15 increasingly intricate mazes. Navigate through the maze, collecting items to unlock the exit. Encounter chests with useful items, ghosts nice. to trade or attack, Ooh. trade with the ghosts, you Ooh. trade the ghosts. Can I trade with them? Can I Let exchange um, How do ghosts carry currency things? for... Maybe they trade secrets? Maybe this is like <laughs> a, a more of a specter than a ghost, you yeah. know? What is the difference? Because some ghosts can knock things over and push things around. Poltergeists. Yeah. Some hold... Wraiths, you really what you want to look at. Liches, but Ooh, oof. that's where it gets really scary. But most can pass through walls, so they have the decision that's right. whether they can become solid. Shadows, or not. even? Oh, oh boy. shadows. Uh, uh, and vortex jumps leading to new directions. Uh, the basic idea of this game was a coding challenge to draw a 3D looking maze do using just at ASCII characters, as I thought. Uh, with some extensive font modifications, which I thought as well, uh, is the result is, result is Retro Maze playthrough, blah, blah, blah. We already read that. Each level is unique, never to be repeated. That means it's generated randomly? Is this like, yeah, is yeah. this procedural generation? I think so. On the start screen, use the joystick up and down to select the start level. Uh, I guess this isn't the start screen. Press I'm the button. just hit start. Okay, here we go. I missed you level one. That feels yeah, like the way difficult, easy. I'm gonna just go with easy. Yeah. Uh, Normally maybe, I don't like easy, but it, it's the end of the, this. You just yeah. don't know. We don't want to stress ourselves. Who is this? Out. Okay, so this is oh, 3D cool. maze. 3D ASCII mazes. Okay. Okay. In the maze, you use a joystick to move forward, backward, move, move in that direction. So you can reverse. You don't have to do a three, a 180. So you're collecting those. Okay, I'm already you're lost. Nine, eight more to go. Seven more to go. Oh, nice sounds. Okay, so press hold the button. So now you go down to unlock it. Now you've unlocked it. Now there's a bomb, a map, and a vortex. 
So you can press a button to take it. I think it's automatic. It'll oh, I take took everything. all of them? And and pouch, you look in your pouch and you use things, but don't nice, don't use nice. anything. I don't, oh, how do I go back? Because you already have a map. I think you go up. Okay, there good, you go. Good, good. So it's a light RPG as well as Pac-Man nice. at the same time. <laughs> nice. I do find the 3D style so hard to, to like, I have navigate. Find it, yeah, um, luckily there is a, a map that you can go to. Oh, more pellets. Uh, four more. Three, two, one, zero. Excellent. I love the sound of the chests. Hold down the button. There you go. And there's a key, a red, and a, two maps. So I'll take a red. Some good news. Okay, so you've eaten all the pellets. There's a little guy up there. That's what I love to do when I'm lost in mazes is eat pebbles from the <laughs> ground. Pellets from the ground. I oh, mean. yeah. Pellets from the ground are the tastiest. So that looks like an exit. Oh, there you go. Cool. So, oh, hold it down. Unlock the exit. Oh, oh. And it's using up things that you've collected. Done. Okay. Oh, I like that little jingle to end. Do, 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 do. Excellent. Oh, pretty cool. Something called retro on the 8-bit. Kind of redundant. Like universal international pictures. That's right. <laughs> Or you mean like, quote, built with Windows NT technology? <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So let's read a little bit more about the things that we're, uh, that we're, that we're getting. Nice. Okay. Level two. So if you select the pouch. So is this a ghost? Ooh. Uh, yeah. So maybe you press a button so you can trade with them. So you can attack or trade. I guess. Oh, you can get different things. Oh, so... If you give him a key, you get three blue things. I think a key is more important. I kind of just don't. Oh, oh, you can cycle through it. You can get a power furball. I don't know about those things. I wouldn't trade that. I'm just going to like be a peaceful yes. uh, Do person the... to start. Oh, something's off. Okay. Oh, it's a switch. Probably want to turn it on. What do you think? Oh, it opened it up. It's a warper. It's a warp. I'm just gonna like, like, kind of slowly first. So I'm when, just gonna eat my pellets on the ground first. When you activate a vortex, oh, which we just saw, I think, pellets? you jump directly to the exit location. Nice. Unless you're at the exit location already, then you jump to the middle of the maze. This is very useful to check uh, what you need to collect to finish the level. Uh, map reveal. Selecting the map from the pouch will reveal the whole map. Every power pill, all the ghosts. All the chests are revealed, so you don't know if you don't know where what something is, you can find it on the map. What did you get? Got a green, don't know what that does, and a red and a bomb. Cool. Selecting the bomb will switch back into 3D maze view and a bomb will explode. The effect of the bomb will break a random number of walls in the direction you're facing. Uh, so make sure you select the correct direction before you place the bomb. Great for making shortcuts in the maze. Oh, so if you can't get to a certain spot, you can bomb through. The explosion will also affect any locked ghosts, chests, or exits. This one looks like it's completely unlocked, because it's a big square. Oh, is that a ghost too? Oh, yeah. Okay, um, chests, okay. Orbs. Let's see what these orbs are for. Let's see. I I don't know if I want to kill these ghosts. The Probably ghosts are kind of cool. Eh? What the hell? Where's the orb information? Did I just? What? Oh, you're at the exit. Oh. Do you have enough to open it? Oh, I think not? I might have just traded. You a need group. a gold. I think I might have just traded a green for oh you need green that's for green not gold oh no oh. trade back trade back where's Find that ghost again. where's that ghost ghost where you at oh he's got a green Ooh. uh you have two blues you can get nine greens for two blues hell yeah um let's go there you go back <laughs> meanwhile hansel and gretel someone ate our pellets we're screwed 
just exit. Let's just, nice. let's just do this. Okay. Let's just move forward. That's cool, cool concepts. You have okay. to have certain things to unlock the exit. Um, you collect certain things from chests. You get pellets. You trade with ghosts. Obviously, don't attack them because they have things you want to trade for. Yeah, like, why these would are, you attack it's, them? Let's get going into town and just fucking up all the NPCs. <laughs> You die, you die. Hey, what do you have on your body? Nice jacket. Murder, now it's mine. Murder. <laughs> Attacking the ghosts is a quick and dirty technique of getting the loot. Uh, it will cost some of your inventory items to attack them or try a bomb, but it'll have consequences. Once attacked and looted, the ghosts will disappear and not be available for trading. So always trade first. That always That makes sense, right? What does this have? I like it's randomized. So you literally have to trade with the ghost sometimes because you may not get... So now you've got one of everything. So you have 22 more orbs to collect in the maze. So you might have to use a bomb this time. So... Oh yeah, you do. Oh no, no, there's an open. I need to. There's yeah, a middle I open still. To, like... It's just really easy to get, like... Oh. Now you're facing the right direction. And then turn. There you go. I kind of like that it has pellets because you know where you've been a little bit. The final boss, Jack Nicholson, is wielding an axe. It's really In, in the hedge maze. <laughs> you just have to wait him out and he'll freeze. That's, that's how you, that's how that's it, how you beat that's how Jack it works. Nicholson. Mm. So what is... No, go back to the exit. And see what you need, because then you know what you'll need before. So you need three reds and two greens. So, oh, oh, you did it. You had everything you needed. I could have collected more pellets, though, but that's oh, all true. It'll be okay. Yep. Now give it a go. It's time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You dive in, you dive in. So this isn't really a it's game where you attack things. This is very meditative. Yeah. This is much more peaceful. This is like, you, can you play have sanctuary mode. cast on you at all times. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Meh. Cat cats. Cat cats. Meh. Hello. Hmm. It's hard to follow where I'm moving when you're watching this on stream or even watching it and you're not like hold, yeah, you're holding not the, the one joystick. Doing it. Yeah, it's like... Unless there's like a half move, like whenever you turn, it's like, oh, it kind of turns yeah. a bit. But other than that, it's like, I have no idea hey, oh, what's yeah. going on. No concept. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Oh, I need to just make my way out and then keep turning right if there's a choice. Something I have noticed, though, is I don't think Baldur's Gate is a great streaming game. I've uh, noticed no. that, like, streamers are struggling to... Make to, it interesting? Well, the problem is, is it's so narrative and so personal and specific. You can't fill in anything that isn't already on the screen. You're not, you're not like, interpreting anything. It's like, yeah. it is what it is. And, like, um, and what's interesting is, is like, because I've been noticing that it's, like, you'd think that it would be, like... A much higher like um percentage of people on, on twitch doing it a lot I, everyone's mm. playing it right. for sure but it, it's not becoming it's no one's kind of like dominating yeah end game you know and it's interesting to look at the games that are like twitch uh, that, yes. that work so well for twitch because twitch is a different medium than like oh yeah than than say a lot of things oh. okay so you need okay goal those greens that we got that nine green trade ooh, that paid off that paid off big time might be worthwhile like touching, going collecting things before touching I'm... touching base with these ghosts to find out uh, maybe but there's tons every level so they're also, not like they're rare also i think because it's very spoilable to right oh then yes. it's kind of like tuning in your and, then, and then it's hard to live stream something like that like i think that like if someone were to record like a youtube playthrough that would be far, a far better medium to sort of like because then you could you could almost experience the full playthrough with them at least i, can, I mean some things are common throughout every playthrough mm -hmm. like you'll move from land to land that's right but they'll be done with different characters. So every playthrough is a bit different. So it has that going for it for, oh, I need some reds. We yeah. need some reds. Oh, is this one gonna give me the reds? 
Let's see. Come on, red. Come on, red. Oh, I'm going to have to be doing some trading. Yeah. I wonder if all the ghosts... Well, might as well take it, though. Oops. Did you take it? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Thank I'm you. happy I caught that. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm guessing the ghosts have to contain everything the exit needs because otherwise you're like truly screwed like you can't exit the level at all oh yeah he's saying with bg3 it seems like it would be more in interactive with the audience polls like should i yes. shank this guy it, yeah it's true um uh, but then but then it's tough because it's like what if you don't get your the thing that you wanted well you're just doing you're doing a stream playthrough then at that point no but i mean like as a as an audience member oh, if you voted and now yeah. you're not because it's, it's, it's so personal right that's true but i think it's still like it's still doing great like it's i think it's gonna win game of the year oh I mean, there's it, no question ev every aspect yeah Unless and it's like, like best sports game, no. Might be the, like the best <laughs> game I played in a long time. I was oh. telling you though, I finished it, yeah. and I'm I'm not as interested in replaying, um, but just because it's I just because it's sort of that kind of game, you know. Yeah, some games you're like I'm satisfied. Yeah. You're done when your first playthrough. It really felt like I finished a really long novel. It kind of almost felt like I read like the like a, like a, like the like three Game of Thrones novels, and I'm like <laughs> nice. It's it's a lot. <laughs> like if you look up. How oh do I have everything? Yes. I think my my number is like I think I had like hundred and sixty hours was, was what mine Okay. Was yeah what, where I was at. It's hard because mine actually says like two thirty, but the problem right. is is I left my computer on a <laughs> few times overnight. Oops. Cause it's cause it's one of those things where you quit but it doesn't actually quit. Which is really common because oh, you have to quit yes. twice. So I'll just quit once, go to bed, and I'll wake up and I'll hear it. I'll be like, "Oh, oh no, I've been idling. They must be so hungry." Yeah, <laughs> but I, you know, I'm sure everyone's had that. You know, you like, you, you're you want to have, you want to know like your gameplay numbers, but then you realize that you just like left it on. I think there was like one game that had like almost like. It was like 400 or like 500 hours. And it was just because oh, I left it on before uh, I went on vacation. Oh my God. Stayed. And I left it on for my hours. roommate and he never played it. So I came back from vacation and then I was like, oh, this has just been on for like, like now I have Jeez. no idea the number. Of... I'm going to let you play the next level um, and I'm going to set up that poll. Cool. For the first time ever. <gasps> the poll. The poll of polls. I'm going to collect my pellets. Yep. I found that very, um, yeah, just traversing the whole maze. It is. It's got dots on there. That's interesting. Let's find out. Two times pellet. Two <gasps> green. Oh, you have to pay to open the chest. Oh, I don't know pellets. if I like that. I don't know if <laughs> I like that. That was greens. Excuse me. I have to get rid of my greens. Okay, let's set up the pole. What is cool about BG is just like you can if someone's played it through, you can be like talk to them about the choices they made. I almost feel like this like secret club. You're like, oh, what did you do here? Yeah. Did you do this? But I but I find that I wonder how much that translates to like a larger audience. You know. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, there's very specific games that work. What work do you, well and some what do you, that don't. What do you think are like this, the best sort of like Twitch games? The ones that seem, from your estimation, to be like, wow, these seem like... You know, I don't watch a lot of Twitch, but I can guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, or just like out of, I'm curious for like the audience, like what are some games that you love to watch that maybe like, you know, even, even in like... It, in this world as well would be wonderful because it's something I'm interested in like what from an audience point of view is interesting to watch versus play because there's some games that, are, that are almost even more fun to watch than play yeah I, I think for me watching games that are challenging for the person playing it and you're rooting for them and you're hoping like like speed runs or personal challenges that they're trying to get and beat so it went down in B blues. Yeah, it went down. Uh, okay, oh, we got two back. Um, yeah, challenges that they're trying to beat. I think, I think it comes down to personality more than the games. Yeah, it's so true. They could be playing anything, and it depends on who they are, <clears throat> whether they can talk, <laughs> and uh, yeah, just 
how enthusiastic they are about the game. Yes, it doesn't like... matter the game too much. I mean, a little bit. If it's like a game you don't care about on I think a platform it's... you don't care about, maybe. But animated gra cart graphic. The future is now. Yeah, I did that last year. So I was like, oh, I can just use this again for the ABBUC contest. Um, yeah, the future is now. So I think that's my criteria is the person makes the stream. Yeah. And Especially for a variety stream. Yeah. And that's... Would we be called that? Variety yeah, stream? Yeah, I think so. Because there's mean, streams where they focus, like, that's all they do. Yeah, they it's do. one do. game. They're they the tend to be, like, edit. deep, complicated. Certain deep, complicated games that have, like, mm. strong viewerships. Um, right. Or multiplayer. Like, per just... I almost say performance-based games where, like, your right. if you have, like, should I say, uh, maybe two keys? Needs two keys. You have seven. I don't even know what the keys are for. Oh, my. What? 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 It ate it just all ate your all keys. My keys. Is that a bug? That's definitely a bug. That was rough. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> oh, it's just, no, not like this. <laughs> take keys. Oh. If keys equal zero, open chest. You're like, no, don't take all my keys for like a random three <laughs> items. Oh, no. Just random three items are what? not worth nine keys. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. oh. 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 We'll make this the last, the last we level. We just got then. hit. Maybe, Maybe. we got to redeem ourselves. Collect our pal. <laughs> Let's yeah. figure out what our what we're doing with our lives. That's like, good. This one didn't ask for keys. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, okay. Okay, let's get a key back. You've That's been good. eaten by a Gru. Oh yeah, you got one key. Oh. Dominating in the red, green, blues. No yeah. problem there. I'm gonna open the door. Oh, it takes. Does it take up something? Or you just switch it? Okay. No, that's a different game. <laughs> <laughs> Eat those pellets. Yeah, but I think like yours is thematically around um also the nature of these games is you can't like just know life pong or like you know, <laughs> E. T. or No. You know, it's I mean there's some games you can go crazy on. And, and do just stream after stream after stream. But I like the variety. I like showing off what's new. What's brand new that just came out. And if I want to continue a game, I do an After Dark. If I want 100%. to do a long-term playthrough of a game or go for high scores, I, I, I've always thought, oh, should I make an After Dark channel so people aren't bothered by After Darks? But we don't do that many of them that I think we need to switch it off to another channel. People don't want to watch it. They just go, eh, I'll skip this one. See, now I'm having to actually, like, really use this. Mm. Did you use a bomb? No. No, I didn't. But I'm like... So you got to find um, either a teleporter, which will teleport you to the exit. Um, or you could use a teleporter from your pouch, I think, too. Keep facing up there. Okay, so uh, this is the way that I need to yes, do this. Yes, down. Yeah, forward. There you go. Hey, yes. buddy. How you doing? So. And to the right. There you go. Back on the pellets. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> and a friendly ghost. It, very seldom you play a game where there's no combat. One green, three blue. No, I just you have less think, green than blue. I just don't think any you can, of that. There's all, all other options. Press the button and then go left and right. Four green for one key? Uh, That's not a bad idea. Two blue for full power bar. Two yep. blue for... Nine no. green? That's a good trade. Okay. Because you do have... Okay. There, there you we'll go. That. And then I wonder they, if they can kind of screw themselves. And, and then like, four then, green for a key. Sure. Okay. Let's yeah, because then you have lots of... Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. Now okay, you're okay, good standing. Okay, okay. Speaking of gurus, maybe you can do a no-talk, no-chat, roguelike playthrough. People will just watch for the hyphens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Roguelike playthrough. Of what? What? <laughs> Don't quite get that. Oh, the exit. Yay. Do you have enough? Oh, yeah. Domination. Yeah. And we are done. 
Exit. So that's, it's not the end of the game, but yeah. we're on level seven. But that might, we're be good. The, might be the end of the. Yeah, the end of our games. End of, so oh, I want to see these polls. I yeah, wanna, so let's uh, let's, let's wrap do a poll up. now of what you guys thought your favorite game was today. Not the best game. Just your favorite. Just your favorite. They're all very good. So this is the only poll I care about. I don't care yeah. about this like. Your favorite game stream to this is the true test, and uh, we can participate test. as well. This is great. Um, so first is Night Night, then Time Wizard, Caverns of Eris, the shooter, uh, Der Schranken Three, which is the Maze plus Montezuma's Revenge, and then Retro Maze, the one we just played. I think for me personally, it's between one or two, which seems to be like pretty yeah. consistently the one i would probably if i had to pick yeah. um i probably go with time wizard because it like really kind of you have to wrap your brain around it i i it's the and it might be it's also where we puzzle. might be where we stopped playing but i'm like delighted to know what the next oh, what's after that right yeah. versus like i feel like with all the other games it's not that i'm not delighted but i'm like i i kind of know you like what it. like i kind of have a guess as to what the rest of night night will be like it'll be hard Harder, but it'll be the same versus I feel like with yeah. Time Wizard I'm like I don't know what, what how you yeah, how happen. you use these mechanics and like how will it be more puzzles will it be yeah. um, I in some ways it was almost like if we played more of Time Wizard it might have actually lost a little bit of its magic potentially Possibly? but but I think it's a definitely for me like Number between two. one and two and I would I would probably leaning just a bit on two yeah I'd for say me so. it's night night I love the um, arcade feel of it. Um, I was half decent at it, which also <laughs> adds to it. When you're good at a game, you you kind of like it better. Yeah. But you're probably good at it because you like it, and you get better at it because you like it too. Um, so it all goes hand in hand. Um, Time Wizard was very beautiful. I'm not talking about game for gameplay. It's night night for me, and that's usually what I go for because I don't care what it looks like or sounds like. I care what it plays like. The sound and the graphics are icing on the cake. Uh, Night Night looked good. Time Wizard was by far the best looking game. It was yeah. just absolutely gorgeous just hits graphics. Just all, all of the marks boom, in terms boom, of boom. just like production, right? Yeah. And if you love puzzles, that'll probably put it over the edge. Like big time. I think Tanya probably would I think like I, Time Wizard more than Night Night as well. I think I kind of prefer puzzle games, but I just, I don't have a lot of skill. Like, I'm okay, but I don't have the same skills with, like, shooters, platformers, those kinds of things. I've developed it more playing, the, playing like, this games on stream, but I just naturally am, like, better at different kinds of games. Yeah. Um, so I feel like it's, that definitely has a factor, right? Like, I did, I loved all of them. Um, Cavern Zeros was a, a decent shooter. Very straightforward. It's a shooter. Uh, Der Schranker 3. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, the outside tiny little place, like the little mazes to get to each um, cave. Great little add-on. Like it could have just been Cave 1, Cave 2, Cave 3, Cave 4, Cave 5. And without the uh, the maze thing. That's a nice, a nice addition. And I, I love Montezuma's Revenge. I don't like the falling weird aspect of it where it's like, oh, you can jump further than you can fall. Yeah. That's weird. But eh, you have to have rules in a game. Uh, Retro Maze, very great use of ASCII characters to make mm -hmm. a 3D puzzle. 3D game, and normally I don't like them, but if they provide a map, I'm fine. I can deal with it if there's a map. Um, without a map, I'm like, oh my God. Um, but it has to be night night for me. 100 percent yeah it's actiony it's platformy i love platformers um it's i'm a, half decent at it you know to me it's a very close second yeah yeah so it is it's time wizard on top 57 percent to 42 percent night night and the other ones don't get any votes but you know that's to be expected from the results of the. It's in the the, kind of in line with what ended up happening with uh, yeah with the actual. It was very close because they're both excellent games, and and in this in their poll you have to probably give a ranking. Mm -hmm. That's why every game got points rather than just a pile up on one. Yeah, you know. uh, Shrankers have strong hands but weak feet. That's what <laughs> happens, man. Prow seven. Oh, he voted six. Yeah, and RC seventy oh. was saying like, um, watch streams with no talking, 
and just playing like very specific games and it's the I, worst thing for engagement oh, but i like it's, it. it's useless for engagement what are they gonna say they don't even know the person yeah like, but what's what's great about that is you really want to see like if you're a big fan of a game and you yes. want to just because there are times where you'll you'll be like looking at something and you go i just want to see this game and it's like mm -hmm. someone's just chatting and you're like oh in the no, early yeah. days, people people said that about this stream. I'm like, I want to experience a game. I want to have fun. I want to be like hanging out on the stream. There's plenty of other streams that just give you straight up game. Yeah, they're really good at it. That specific game, and they do speed runs and they play right through it at an expert level. It's like, no, I just want to be an average gamer, enjoying the games with another person, and we just talk about the games and hang yeah. out. It's a hangout story. And I think with something like that too, like your performance in that, like if you have a game that you have a particularly amazing performance in, then it's yeah. really worthwhile to sort of see them play oh, that, right? To see 100%. like the, the tactics of what they do, especially with some sort of like, like there's old retro games that I like on like the N64 that I like, I'll think of and I'll watch a speed run yeah. so I can just see the levels and see the game. Yeah. But, it, but, it, but I'm not going to... figure out something you're stuck on. Yeah, for sure. So like there's a value Value to that but i think there's a real value to people wanting to come to the show and see like yeah. the people and like be hang there out to... meet the developers meet other people that i mean we're a very specific niche show about very old school platforms and everybody here is because they love the platform and they they want to find out the newest games and uh that's what i wanted to provide with this and it's worked well for me yeah. i mean other people they do their streams because that game is hot right now and they move on to the next hot game because they want straight up viewers. Or they or they love that game, right? That, and that's, that's true. And that's their game. And Even they, if it falls out of favor, it's like that's their game. There's going to be an audience for it. Even retro games have a lot of following because yeah. it's like you know you're like oh I want to see them, them I want to see them play that game. Yes, and play it at an at a elite level. Like what does a good player look like playing that game? Uh, so coming up. On the, the show, the next episode is going to be part two of ABBUC nice. 2023 contest entries. We're going to play, be playing Zoberball 23, Zoberball, DOTA, Double, Ink Spill, Numero, and maybe Rotor. It's supposed to come out in December, cool. the developer said, but maybe they'll release it early. And we'll play that if it's out. If not, we'll play it later on an 8-bit day. Um, then coming up, we're going to be doing the four player special, maybe December, early December. Sounds about right. There's a lot of stuff that I have a floating date for in November, but I know it's going to be in November. So it's a bit dangerous step by step, scheduling right? the four player day because I have to make sure four people can be here at the same time. Um, and so an Atari age day, 2023 end ish of November, most likely I'll be talking to all the developers with new games out. Even you, Thomas, you put a game out. <laughs> so, uh, you'll be getting an email soon and we'll be starting to, uh, coordinate that for times, time zones and stuff. So Thomas will be earlier in the day cause he's, uh, in Europe. Um, we're probably going to bang that in one day. I need to cut that down to just one day. Uh, some, in some After Darks, we're going to be going through Atari Jaguar's 30th Anniversary Classic Gaming Countdown. Every single Jaguar game, classic Jaguar game, because it's their 30th anniversary. Pain champ. Yep, <laughs> it's going to be some painful games. It's going to be some good ones too, but it'll be an educational thing. So we'll oh, learn yeah. all about the history of Jaguar ten minutes at a time or <laughs> something one, like that. one one game at a time. One game at a time. Um and then later on, maybe November, early December, we're gonna have uh John Champo on to talk about his two new releases, Elevator Agent and Turbo Man, Arcade. The, the legend. Oh, he is the legend. He's an expert twenty six hundred programmer and these two new games are absolutely stunning. And so we'll have him on. His games are sitting in the closet right up there right now. So we'll be doing unboxing for that, just like on Atari H Day and talking with John Champo. And, uh, yeah, like I said at the top of the show, sixth annual Atari Homebrew Awards are coming up. The cutoff is December 31st, midnight Pacific time, uh, well, 11 59, 59 mm -hmm. actually. Um, and, uh, then we'll be having, I can actually add it in now, uh, February 24th, I think I said it was a Saturday. You did, yeah, and we'll about be right. giving out all the awards, see who comes up on top. Uh, the voting will take place, I think it's 
late January. I'll, I'll be posting that soonish now that I've got everything arranged. Um, I just realized you're only asking Trust26 uh, about the earlier time at the beginning of the stream and we're just saying hi to me. Oh, I can ask about the early time to you yeah. too. <laughs> but yeah, Thomas is in Europe and that's why I, I uh, asked about the early time because I think he's in a place where all over the world times are fluctuating because some people have daylight savings and some don't. And oh, also so confusing at a certain point. And they change at different times, like different days. And not the whole world doesn't change at yeah. the same day on daylight savings. It is a mess. And so it's very confusing around that like week or so when everybody changes and people start missing the show and they're like, oh my God, you've already started. And they're like yeah. an hour late for the show or yeah. they show up early. I've been here for an hour. At my job, like there's a bunch of people in the office who work like across Canada. Oh, and then no. there's also clients that are in like different time oh, zones. So nightmare. sometimes when you go to book a meeting, you're like, I have no idea like, <laughs> yes. when, like what this, how, GMT. how this you affects do. you. Like I'm like, I'm good for this time. <laughs> that's yeah. That's it's hard to coordinate, but once it's set, you just set everything in like GMT offset. So it, it looks different for them than it does for you. Oh my God. I have to deal with that constantly on this show when I have people that developers who want to sit in on the chat or I have to coordinate like an interview with them. It's like, okay, my time right now is six. What time is your time there? It's three in the morning. Okay. So we need to reverse, so but it'll be in of... two weeks from now, but then the time change will take place here, but not there. <sighs> my head just explodes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nightmare. Um, Congress is supposed to approve getting rid of DST, but then the Republicans took over the House every year. Oh. It's been on the table to get rid of daylight savings time. And can I don't know if you know this, can you probably not. Canada has a standing agreement with the West Coast of the US that when California, Oregon, and Washington all change to no daylight savings, BC will change to no daylight Yay, savings. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll do it. We'll, we'll, we'll oh, lock it in. Hundred percent. I want to get rid of it. Who cares about just, I want a consistent time. That's Brisbane. all I want. Is that Australia? Am I crazy? Yes. Nice. Brisbane. Hey, early Australians riser. Australians are so cool. Trust I, loves I, 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 I'm a big fan, oh. of, big fan of Australians, man. I don't yep. know what. Australians. Their sense of humor. Super, they're like. They're, just, they're in your face. They're honest with you. They're super funny. They're super like. Let's, they're up for it. Down to earth. Super down to earth. Every single one I've met. I don't want to generalize, and but to, I've, I've been there twice. I've met a bunch of Australians. They're just awesome. And there's something about Australians that are just like, just, just dodging left and right. The fact they live in a place where like there's spiders that can kill you Everything from everywhere. You. <laughs> there's... Yeah, where they have to keep their boots like inside the house. Like they can't keep or something like they have to check their boots. Before oh, they yeah. put them on, or they could die from being bitten. Oh, British, but live in Brisbane. Oh, you're still there. Well, yeah, you're still there, yeah. but... 4.20 p.m. Okay, yeah. Good to qualify that. A.M.'s <laughs> early. Um, so, thanks for Spires hanging everywhere. out. Spiders everywhere. Yeah, that's, Spires that's everywhere. the thing that does cool. scare. See, well, we can just get blasted by a moose. That's one of the scary yeah. Canadian I things. I don't see too many bears in BC. Bears and, and moose. cougar. And cougars, yeah, and those coyotes at times, but not humans. Coyotes are not really. They like, run away. You got to look out for your cats and coyotes. Yes, that's the. That's why these guys stay inside. That's where it gets scary. There's no cars and no coyotes in in the house, eh? Two all oh, on the pole. Oh, yeah. just up on the two. And there we go. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us once again. Uh, it's always appreciated when uh, you uh, hang out with us. And hi everybody on YouTube. Um, we will be back on Tuesday with Tanya doing some more BBUC entries. So everybody have an awesome, great weekend. And uh, yeah, try out some of these games that you liked. Uh, they're all available for download. You can find all the links on um, my thread on the Atari Age forums. I link to all of them. So we will uh, see you on Tuesday. Thanks again. Bye-bye.